really loud. Is it really loud for you? Man, can you chill out just a little bit? Wait, I'm already in the game? Wait, what is happening, chat? What's it called? What happened? Edith, e e e e e e e If you tease me, that's ableism, dog. If you tease me right now, that's ableism. Or some shit, you know what I'm saying, dog. That's... That's wrong of you, bro, to do that. What remains of Edith Finch? Well, the view's lovely. Kind of a little bit dreary, but beautiful enough, you know? Oh, yeah, I can smell the salt. I can smell the, um... The, uh... The misery, the pain, that mental anguish. I can smell me sitting here and overthinking every conversation I've ever had. And thinking of all the embarrassing things I've done and said throughout my life. Yes, what a beautiful view. Oh, I've got some flowers here. Edith Finch. So romantic. I'm going to turn a page. A lot of this isn't going to make sense to you. And I'm sorry about that. Right. I'm just going to start at the beginning. Yep. With the house. Oh, we're going to go through a little story. Wow, that's the house. Where are we living? Oh, look, it's already laggy, dude. Oh. <laughs> I mean, no matter what you do, bro, no matter what you do, your game's going to lag if you stream with all of this on fucking... <laughs> Everything was... Oh, hang on. Let's go like this. Dialogue up. Sound effects up. Music medium. How's that sound, chat? Like about... What do you reckon about that? I reckon that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's way better. I lived here until I was 11. Right. And I wasn't allowed inside half the rooms. Why not? What did they have inside half the rooms? A little freaky, a little scary, you could even say. Oh, look, a nice little bird, um, a bird uh, box. Oh, no, this is what humans call a mailbox. Inside box. the mailbox were bills from seven years ago, marked urgent, open immediately. <laughs> but you never opened them? Yeah, same. <laughs> Screw paying taxes, dude. If you never pay taxes, you get to keep all the money. I hadn't been back since my brother Lewis's funeral. Oh, your brother died? F. In her will, my mother left me what? a key, but didn't tell me what, what it unlocked. Well, maybe it unlocks the front door. That's what I think. Maybe she thought I'd know. Or she thought the mystery would be enough to bring me back. Let's take the road less traveled. Let's take the road less traveled. Oh my God! This is why you should always wander randomly off into the wilderness with no survival skills or abilities. This is great. The truth is... Right. Even after I inherited the house, mm -hmm. I never thought I'd come back to it. Oh, you thought you'd sell it and make millions of dollars. I have questions about my family that only the house knew the answers to. Right. Wow, beautiful. The woods around the house have always been uncomfortably silent. As if they're about to say something, but never do. Maybe they do say something to you. You've just never truly listened to the woods. Listen. Facts. God, I'm so philosophical and, and stuff. 
Oh, your shoes are going to be all muddy. Edith? Oh, what's that? Missing. Something, something. Some kid's gone missing. Oh, same kid missing. Man, this kid's really missing, huh? Whoa, again, three times the charm. He's missing. Four times. Oh, nothing but net. Swish. Wet like water. The house was exactly like I remembered it. The a way I've been hole. dreaming about it. Uh, a, a decrepit hole that looks like it could come tumbling down at any moment. That looks like a disaster. It looks like a treehouse that a child made mixed with a mansion. And I don't think that's a good thing, Edith. I would be scared to even step foot upon this property. It looks like it'll come crumbling down. Man, that kid's missing. As a child, the house made me uncomfortable in a way I couldn't put into words. Hmm. Mm, dangerous might be the word. Possibly, Edith. Possibly. Ah, oh, can someone clean up the weeds? Hire a guy. Whoa! I'm a woman, and I feel fantastic. Now, as a 17-year-old, I knew- yeah! Wait, 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 we gotta do it. Where is it? Hang on. Wait, wait, chat, wait. afraid of the house scared of a house oh no i've actually been scared of a house before hey oasis craze cancelled has too much of a good ring to it any trues dude <coughs> mm. oh oasis i did see your message but i saw it just as i was streaming sorry about that I hoped the key might unlock the front door. It didn't. Damn it, that's what I thought it would do. Maybe steal the mail. Looking in, Ooh. I felt like the house itself had been waiting for me. Mm, cool house, I love the books. I love book aesthetic, you know? Mm. Let's go over in the garden. I can smell this place. Can anyone else smell this? I can smell the dampness in the air. I can smell the greenery. I can smell the hint of like flowers. Like these flowers, I can smell them. I can smell them. I can smell these lily pad things here. I can smell that. I can smell it. I love smelling it. Don't you just love smelling nature? That's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah. Well, get away for that, boys. Get away for that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I can smell it all. I'm so immersed. 
Are you really gonna go through the doggy door? Okay. Crawling through oh. the doggy door used to be a lot easier when I was 11. Was it? No. Lawn mower, but nobody's used it outside, I can tell. I can tell. Freezer for the dead bodies, yep. Yeah. Of course. Let's turn on some lights, shall we? Flip. The power had been turned off the night we left. Well, why don't you go out the back and find the power box and turn it on? For the first time in years. Right. For the first time in years. I felt like years. I was home. This is what you call home? Wine bottles everywhere? Tuna? Books on the kitchen table? A candle from the 1800s? Nice aesthetic. I appreciate it. But instead of a family, they were just memories of one. Oh, come on. Now, now. Like how after Lewis started working at the cannery, we all got sick of eating salmon. Except our cat, Molly. Come on. Or how only one restaurant would deliver to our house. So we had <laughs> Chinese a lot. Yum. Lewis Finch in loving memory. Edith, Eddie, Dawn, and Lewis. Whoa, you really do have a lot of salmon. Very fishy. The Ooh, table was still a wreck from the night we left. Why did they leave in, 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 in such a hurry? What has happened? Was it a storm? My mom was the only one of us who could imagine Great Grandma Edie living in a nursing home. Mm. It was like a bomb had gone off, killing everyone but sparing the furniture. Does seem that way, doesn't it? Nothing Beautiful. in the house looked abnormal. There was just too much of it, like a smile with too many teeth. Am I the only one, chat, who doesn't mind the clutter of books and stuff like that? Like, it adds, like, a cozy feel. Like, look at these bookshelves. So beautiful. You know? Like, I hate minimalism sometimes. Minimalism is whack. I want a house to feel like it's lived in. Like, people actually call it home. Maybe that's just me, though. Oh, basement? Or... What's this? Barbara. I'll turn it. Oh! Great Grandpa Sven built a music box for Barbara, along with the rest of the house. Oh! Thanks for all the follows and subs, chat. Coggers. Oh, the key! The key! What's in there? Edie told me once that every finch who ever lived is buried somewhere in the library. That's a bit weird. God, I hope not. Pretty small space. It's sealed up with semen. Hmm. When my grandparents um, got too sick to use the stairs, I was a grown adult and I would play on this elevator thing up and down at the age of 22. After Milton disappeared. Up, down, Mom up, down. Up all the and then I'd ride it. I'd ride it like a surfboard. Then Edie retaliated and drilled peepholes. Peepholes? Peeping Timothy. Peeping Tom. Peeping Peter. Molly. Molly always seemed like a girl I could imagine being friends with. If she hadn't died in 1947. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, that's not funny. Sorry. Mom always told me to stay out of the basement. The key! So I wasn't too surprised when the key didn't fit. Damn it! Why are you laughing? Oasis, comedy and laughter is my way of dealing with things. You know, any truths for that in the chat, you know? So when I laugh, it's different. When you laugh, it's terrible. When I laugh, it's a coping mechanism. So I can't be cancelled for laughing, you know? And if you do, that's wrong. That's, like, kind of gross of you.
Oh, I love photos at, at, at staircases like this. Dude, even if I don't have a family, I'm gonna have photos on my staircase of all my friends. Hey, pop open a wine. Dude, I love this house. It's beautiful. Let's go upstairs. Oh, what's Mom this? must have locked the third floor stairs on Damn the it. left. Barbara. Hey, how you doing? father Odin built the original house. Einstein looking ass. Barbara was a child star for two years. Until America grew out of it. It happens. You know, one second you're the talk of the town, then next second you're homeless. The last time I was in Edith Sr.'s room, mm. I was ten and she was painting my portrait. Cute. My grandpa Sam spent seven years sharing a room with his dead brother. Calvin. With his dead brother? Dead? As a kid, I just assumed every house had peepholes and sealed rooms you weren't allowed inside of. Uh, right. Yeah, I just realized truly how creepy the peepholes thing is, right? Anybody else? That's really weird. Oh, I spent a lot of time playing in Great Uncle Walter's room. Whoa! I think my mom sometimes regretted not sealing it up. Man, the floors need to be right redone. Oh, where's this light coming from? Oh, the window. What's this? A Lewis little book? told me there were secret passages, but I never believed him. Let's unlock it with the key. This will open. Ready? Got it. A book. I will open it. Turns out. My mom was really good at keeping secrets. What is that? Now it was time to find out what my mom had been afraid of. What was she afraid of? I guess we're gonna figure out. Oh. Be creepy. Oh, I wouldn't mind a spot of tea, would I? I got down to Bobby a few boys and I have a few fine beers with the pain boys. Wall, it was clear my brother Jimmy's. Milton had been here before me. Reading this, maybe it sounds like I had a plan. Right. But I had no idea what was behind that door. I'm actually controlling her arm, by the way, chat. Like when she's pulling things up, I'm doing that. Kinda Just like cool. I had no idea yeah, where bruv. this was gonna lead. Yeah. Molly. Molly, clean up your room. It's disgusting. I grew up looking at Molly's room through the peephole. Being inside for the first time, I felt like I'd stepped behind a painting. So you, you were peeping on little Molly. That's kind of weird, Edith. That's kind of strange, dude. Beautiful view. <gasps> Beautiful. I can see all of the swamp from here. Let's read Molly's diary. She's dead. She won't care. December 13th, 1947. Mm -hmm. Dear diary, mm -hmm. I'll be gone soon, but I wanted to tell somebody about what's going to happen. Right. It started when mom sent me to bed without dinner. I woke up and I, I was I hate starving, when mom does that. So I looked around for something to eat. Oh my God, I'm a little girl. Pumpkin. My Halloween candy was all gone. Who ate my candy? Who ate my candy? Was it you? You stole it. Yeah, that's right. Sorry, broke the camera. Hang on. Okay, that pissed me off. Right, if you're not here for energy, you're not gonna last very long. Can I get an amen? If you don't like random outbursts um, and, and random shocking things, you're not gonna like me as a streamer. Yeah, you should leave. <laughs> oh, what a cute little fish. I thought about eating Christopher. I was about I to that. say that. I was about to say you should eat it. 
We think alike. Wait, do I have a brain of a little girl? That's what I was going to say. The gerbil food. The gerbil food was dry, but I didn't mind it. Oh, oh, little girl, Molly, don't eat the gerbil food. Ah. Okay, too far. That was nasty as. Mom, can I come out now? Mom! Sweetheart, it's late. Go to sleep. No. <laughs> I'm going on an adventure. Everything looks so big. I kept eating and eating. Molly, don't eat the toothpaste. Molly, no. Bad girl. What was that? What was that? Don't eat I that. I ate a lot of things that night. No, don't eat. Those are decorations, Molly. Okay, right. You just ate Christmas decorations. Are you going to drink the toilet water too, Molly? Are you going to eat the toilet paper as well? Go on, have a munch. Go on, eat it. Maniac. Then I heard chirping outside my window. Don't eat the bird, Molly. Oh, God, no. That might not be the best thing to be doing, huh? Maybe don't eat the bird. It was Is a barn swallow going back to her nest. Oh, barn swallow. I reached out for her. Thank God, that bird is a survivor. Thank God. And suddenly... Oh! I it was a cat! Transformers! More than meets the eye! Power Rangers! Activate! I'm a little cat. <laughs> Come here, little bird. <laughs> I'm gonna jump. <laughs> I'm having so much fun. I tried to be quiet, but the bird was really scared. Come here! I'm gonna eat your dumb ass. <laughs> gotcha! Oh, I'm gonna have some little bird wings for dinner. Mom and Dad didn't even look at me. Hey! Mom, Dad, I'm a cat! I'm going to jump to now. Down? <laughs> now where? What is we doing? I think I've done something wrong. I, I don't know where I'm at. I'm lost in a game that's the most linear game you could ever play in your entire life. I'm actually lost in it. Oh, there we go. Hoop, hoop, hoop. Being a cat is awesome. Gotcha! Gotcha! Come here! Got him! I jumped and I almost got her. I must stalk my prey. I could tell she was getting really tired. <sighs> now I was up in the big tree. I Don't worry. I was sad I wouldn't climb it anymore. Don't worry. All I cared about was eating that mama bird. I gobbled her up. Yes! Gobble her up, suddenly, Molly! I was an owl. And now I'm an First, owl. First, all I heard was the wind. Then I heard little teeth nibbling in the grass. Oh. I don't see nothing. Rabbits. Rabbits. Rabbits for dinner. I don't see him. Maybe I'm... I think I'm going blind in my old age, Molly. You're going to have to do all this. Oh, in the grass. There's one! Dive, dive! <laughs> ah! I imagined his face looking up and seeing mine through my talons. Yes. Oh, oh! I pulled him up and I didn't chew one bit. Mm -hmm. Then I flew off to find something bigger. Consume. What's an owl gonna eat? 
It's bigger than a rabbit. A mama rabbit. Where? There's one! Get the mom! Got him! Big and juicy. She was almost too big to carry. I started choking, but I couldn't stop eating. And suddenly, I was a shark! In the forest? Well, that's something, isn't it? Whee! Whee! Watch out! Oh! Ah! Help! Help! Fish out of water! Fish out of water! Help me, help me! I'm an endangered species! You... I oh, off the God! And into the ocean. Watch where you're driving, idiot! I hungrier than ever. Yes, I can see it. I see a seal right there. No, no, no. I wanted fat, juicy seals. Yeah, fat. I like them when they're thick as well. I love it when they're thick. Let me get a taste of that ass. Yes! I tore off her flipper and it tasted really good. Oh, delicious snackies for me. Yeah, that ass does bounce back. Come here! Where you running? Got her! When I was so hungry, I jumped out of the water. Oh. When I opened my eyes, everything had changed. Oh my god, I'm an octopus thing, lizard! What the hell is this? What the... I'm the Kraken? I'm what now every I sailor fears? And I smelled people everywhere. Retract it, retract it. Let's go this way. Here we go. Looking for a tasty human snack. <laughs> I was big, but I moved real quiet. <laughs> Sad boy hours just became a little bit more devastating. Thinking about the wife back home, are we? Thinking about your wife and kids, you know? Well, my friend. Come here! Concerned. I demand nothing but flesh. Nothing but human flesh. <laughs> I wanted to stop, but also, I didn't. Why stop? We're just getting started. Let's eat this guy too! Come here! <laughs> Man, this is really taking hentai way too far, you know what I'm saying? This is all kinds of like that next level. You see like these poor sods. Come here! After the last passenger, I was still hungry. And across the water, I smelled something new. Something I had to have, Ooh. so I swam towards it. Okay, what are we now? Are we still the octopus creature? Yes, we are. I slithered onto the sand, and the good smell went into an old pipe. Slithered like a snake through the swamps, under the sewage. Damn, this thing's long. Whee! 
I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna make a sex joke. I'm better than that. Oh, we're in a toilet? Disgusting! I got closer and closer. Oh, we're in Molly's room! Wait, Molly, don't eat Molly. That's crazy talk. Molly, no. Do we climb up? No? What's this? Oh, oh. my stomach started growling. All oh, your stomachs. How many stomachs you got, Molly? And suddenly, oh. that was me again. I Jump. held my breath for a long time. There's something under the bed. I hear anything. I think it's waiting for me to fall asleep. But it's not going to wait much longer. It needs to be. And we both know I will be delicious. <laughs> Man, okay. Right, what a diary to read, huh? <clears throat> right. I'm not sure if I believed all of that, but I'm sure Edie would have. Oh, you're not sure if you believed all of that? Really, Edith? You're not... You're, you're, you're kind of unsure if that was, like, a true story. Edith, you're an idiot! That's number one. Number two, Molly was a weirdo. A here before my mom sealed the doors. Molly rips in the chat. Rips in the chat. She gone now. Shout out, Molly. Oh, wait! This is an actual mural! Oh, oh, that's a little cat is little Molly. What's in here? Molly's gerbil had a tiny bedroom with its own <laughs> even tinier gerbil cage. Oh, that's cute. I can't describe it, but mm. I felt like some part of Molly was still here. Hmm. It's Molly! She was the cat! Here, Molly, Molly! Push, 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 push! Here, little pushy cat! This will be obvious later, but my mom never told me any of these stories. Edie would have, but mom didn't like bringing up the past. Right. Though, when we adopted a stray kitten, she was the one who named it Molly. So is Molly a human or a cat? Kinda lost here. Oh wait! After Molly a lot of died. Okay, gotcha. This is Eddie's room. We got along, and it was a good place to hide from my mom. Hmm. Dragon when kills Edie told Finch. People Sven was killed by a dragon. She could also have said he was building a dragon-shaped slide that collapsed. Hmm. She could have, but she didn't. Oh. Oh, it collapsed on him. Feels bad, man. Even in her 90s. Sometimes Edie seemed a lot younger than my mother. Hmm. <laughs> she was eccentric, I'll tell you that. <laughs> Lewis died a week before we left, but Edie had already started to memorialize him. That's love right there, dude. That's love. Her room was like a museum. For 500 years, the Finches have been famous throughout Norway for their fortune. And misfortune. Hmm. Odin Finch buries the latest victims of the family curse. His wife, Ingeborg, and their newborn son, Johan. Ingeborg. On January 7th, 1937, he set sail with his family and his house. Hoping to leave the curse. Wait, he put a whole house on a boat. But 40 foot waves off the coast of Washington send the house and Odin to the bottom of the sea. Hey, I think the curse may have followed poor Odin. Odin's daughter Edie, with husband Sven and baby Molly, step ashore on their new home, Orcas Island. Odin Finch is the first to be buried in the new family cemetery. Oh. His daughter Edie is already dreaming of a new Finch house. Hmm. 
Whatever's wrong with this family, it goes back a long ways. Well, so far, you know, Edith, and I don't want to insult your family, but you guys are a bunch of weirdos. You reckon that's all right to admit, ladies and gentlemen? They're a bit weird, eccentric. They've got a curse on them. Everybody seems to have died. Uh, you know, I'm a bit, you know, no offense. I mean, who's going to put carpet like this all around, The only you know? trace Grandpa Sam's first wife, Kay, left on the house was the pink bathroom. Yeah. It was a pretty big trace. <laughs> ladies, ladies, right? Say, say, you know, we start dating, yeah? And I've got an ex-girlfriend, yeah? And she made the bathroom like this. Do you keep it or do you get rid of it? You get rid of it, right? It's a bit weird to keep your ex-girlfriend's decorations like this that are a bit too much, right? Massive red flag, yeah? Burn it. Yes. Get rid of it? Of course. Destroy the house. Whoa! I kind of want to roll all over this ground if it wasn't in the bathroom and most likely covered in piss. Oh. There's a secret in this bathroom by Sven, by Sven and Edith Eddie Flinch. Ooh. There's a secret in this bathroom. Oh, I love pop out books. You would look. My favorite it kind of books. In the cupboard. It's hidden in this book. <gasps> well, what's this? A secret passage? Thanks for all the follows, chat. Thanks for all the subs, Sven guys. Sven gave Sam an old camera he'd refurbished. He never put it down. Mm, I love the old cameras, chat. You know, like all the modern cameras. I just like those ones that you, you scroll and you just go click and it makes a photo. Love that kind of vibe. Here you go. Cool room. Oh, why am I crashing? Oh, I'm up. Cool. I love football. I knew Grandpa Sam had a twin. Oh. And that he never talked about him. To the command center! Up and at them. I guess my grandpa didn't like history any more than my mom did. Oh. How I Want to Remember My Brother by Sam Finn. The thing I remember this is, gonna is get that me. when he made up his mind, that was it. I have a brother chat. This is going to get me. If I cry, no laughing, okay? My brother said he'd die before he ate another mushroom. And he did. Oh, <laughs> sorry. That's not funny. At Barbara's funeral, we swore we'd never be afraid again. And he wasn't. I think Calvin always wanted to fly. I'm busy, Mom! I'm busy! But that day, he finally made up his mind to do it. I'm gonna fly. I told him going around was impossible. I have goosebumps. I have goosebumps, chat. Anybody else? Maybe if I hadn't said that. Calvin, I'm not gonna tell you again! Ah! Maybe if the wind Let's go! Up. We're gonna make it around! Then maybe he'd still be here. But I doubt it. Neely! I think he'd already made up his mind. That's what I want to remember about my brother. Yeah! Whee! 
day he made up his mind to fly. And he did. Calvin's story felt strangely familiar. When I was younger, I remember trying to do the exact same thing. No. After the funeral, Edie roped off Calvin's half of the room. Mom said Grandpa Sam enlisted at 18 and never set foot in the room again. What's this? <laughs> what is this? Oh! Which way do I pull it? Up! Uh, big muscles, big muscles! Spin it, spin it, spin it! That is very cool. That's a cool secret passage. The passages were a pretty tight fit. I can see that. They'd obviously been built for smaller hands and bellies. Hidden wine stash, man! Hidden wine stash! What is this? Growing up, oh, it's Barbara. I always thought of Barbara as a child star. Hmm. Feels like um in this game, can I tell you, chat, while I'm playing, it feels like they're real people. It's it's hard to explain. But the game does a really good job of I never making thought about how hard it must have been for her afterwards. Very eccentric, but still like cool, you know. Barbara Finch in a dreadful All the story. People wrote about Barbara's death. I'm surprised Edie saved this one. This is a cool comic. Oh, Jack here with another ghastly tale inspired by America's most unfortunate family. I'm calling it the surprise ending of Barbara Finch. As a child star, Barbara was famous for her scream. Now at 16, she was all washed up. A has-been. Oh, no! In a lucky break, she'd been asked to perform her signature scream at a local convention for monster movie fans. It was just the boost her career needed. Unfortunately, her scream hadn't aged well. <laughs> Getting better. I think you just need the right motivation. Yeah, motivation. Her fan, Give up. And current boyfriend, Rick, was about to demonstrate when. Now that's a now good that scream. Was a great scream. It was Barbara's father, Sven. He'd slipped into a table saw and had to be rushed to the emergency room. Oh! So Barbara got stuck babysitting her youngest brother, Walter. Her convention comeback was cancelled. No! <gasps> okay, I'm hearing frustration, but I'm not hearing terror. What if I tried... A gang of hoodlums in Halloween masks have been terrorizing Orca's Island tonight. Police are urging residents... We live at Orca's Island! That came from the basement. You're right. Also, I loved your delivery on that. Why is your basement door locked? Because my dad likes making puzzles and secret passages. There's a key hidden in the music box. The secret is to keep winding and winding until finally the key pops out. Thanks, babe. I'll be back in a sec. 20 uh -oh. minutes later, Rick hadn't returned. Uh oh. So Barbara 20 went minutes? To look for him, right? Dude, I'm um, going down in like three, five minutes if they haven't come back up. She reached for the music You box. waited 20 minutes? I'm gonna turn it, chat. I'm gonna turn it. And as she wound the key, she listened for Rick, but the house was silent. 
Monka dude. Sherlock Craze on the case. One man, one mission, one determination to discover where my boyfriend has gone. And so I trickled down this staircase expecting the worst, but prepared for the best. She found Rick's crutch and imagined the worst. Ah. Uh, Okay, that's a lot of blood. What is happening here? Uh-oh. What is going on here? Oh, man. Hiya! Hiya! The gang's leader is the infamous Hookman killer, Dr. Carl Hamill, who impaled and then ate his family ten years ago tonight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Come out, Hookman! And face my, uh, my crutch. Rattled oh. and grew still. What can be in there? <gasps> oh dear. Too far. <laughs> oh. Rick? Barb, relax. I was just trying to scare you to help you find your screen. You waited I'm 20 not minutes? Rick. I'm furious. Then act furious. All I'm getting from you now is that you're hurt and confused and you She threw him out. What a weirdo. And she kept a little something to remember him by. Barb, have you seen my other crutch? And she was still holding it when she fell asleep watching the late, late picture show. Hours later. Barbara! Walter? Oh, what's Walter? Going on there? Oh. Okay, I'm coming up, but if this is a trick, you're dead, Walter. I don't think it's a trick, chat. And so Creator heard the screams of his little cousin, Walter, at 12 o'clock at midnight. Walking through, he had only one weapon on him, a crutch from his boyfriend, Rick. You wanna do battle? I'll battle, baby, I'll battle. You wanna fight me? Walter, Walter are you there? You okay, little buddy? Walter had finished, oh. but his bedside radio was still on. Orca's Island Police described the man as six feet tall with a steel hook for a hand. Residents are urged to lock all doors and windows and notify the police of any suspicious activity. Oh my God! I return. Saw the hook man and was speechless. Scream! He was quite oh. smashing. He was quite smashing. Wait, what? Oh, nut shot! And he was. He couldn't get enough of Barbara. Uh oh. Okay, Barbara. There's got to be another way out of here. The window. The window, dog. The window. Oh, no, through here, do it. Yeah. That night, she played her part beautifully. And smack him in the back of the head. Who's with me? Molly's door hadn't been opened in years. The hinges groan. Damn it, he probably heard it then. Oh, where you going? Whoa, watch yourself. Yeah, Whoa. not the but coffee table. The story might not be over yet. Not the cop. Don't slip on that shoe, but Barbara, no, Barbara, no. Okay, good. I was worried you were gonna slip on it. Of course he's gone. Come at me! Come at me! The hook man had vanished. Turn around, Barbara. He's breathing. But all she heard was... That better be the police. I swear to God, that better be the cops. That better be the coppers. At the door, she heard whispering. It was coming from inside the house. Oh! Bye, Jim! 
Barbara! Wait, one, two, what's happening? Oh, oh. It's a gang, gang of them. Surprise! You are wonderful! The monsters had come to surprise her. For Barbara, it was a dream come true. That is not funny. And she what? She saw what kind of monsters they were, and she realized what was about to happen. She was going to be famous. And with her final breath, Barbara Finch gave the performance of her life. Oh, wait, no, they're actually that murderer. I wasn't there myself, but I hear Barbara was magnificent. Poor girl. She had a taste for stardom. But unfortunately, so did her fans. Of course, the police blamed it all on poor Rick, who disappeared the same night. And little Walter, hiding under his bed the whole you time. You little dweeb! He took it all. Toughen up and go help him! But that's another story. Boo, Walter, boo! Inside the music box was all they ever found of her. Her ear. Now that's what I call a real eerie tale. Okay, dude. <laughs> okay. <laughs> too far, murderers. Way too far. Poor Barbara. Edie told me all Barbara wanted was to be remembered, as absurd as that comic was. Maybe what Edie saw was a happy ending. Happy ending? Edith, she was murdered and had her ear chopped off and put in a little box. And her boyfriend went missing forever. Are, are, you, are you okay, Edith? There's being remembered forever and then there's being remembered as someone who got brutally murdered. Anyway, back to this little bit here. I guess now I know why mom didn't like me playing with the music box. <laughs> yeah, that makes a little bit of sense, don't it? Whenever people ask me about my family, mm. the first thing they always want to know about is Barbara. Aww. Where do we go now, you reckon, chat? We've been in here. I don't think we're meant to go through the doors, are we? We're meant to find, like, another book. Another door may have opened with a new book or something. It's funny. All those times I played with the music box and never found the basement key. Oh, okay, we gotta find the music box. Where was that, chat? Remember we did play, oh, it was in the hallway? Look for a music box, chat. It was in the hallway, right? I think so. Here it is, got it. Found it. Got it. You just gotta keep on turning no matter what. That's a really cool trick for a, for a key. Don't you reckon, chat? That's a really cool trick. Like to hide a key. Hello? No more spooky uh, stories about my family dying, please. That'd be great. That'd be fine. We're gonna do Sven's story Mom now. Mom said the basement was off limits. Unless I wanted another tetanus shot. A lot of places off limits in this house, you know? Chat, you notice that? A lot, a lot of, uh... I saw Edie sneak down to the basement once, carrying packages. Hmm. I thought maybe she was hiding presents. I mean, this... It secret turned out passage. she was hiding a lot more than that. <gasps> You got a flashlight? Yeah, because I can't see a damn thing. Oh. 
I remember asking mom once about where Walter had gone. Walter! She said after Barbara died, he got as far away as he could. Oh, that's... Wouldn't that be the most traumatizing thing ever, dude? If there's a pattern dude? in all these stories. Hmm. That everyone dies? Is that the pattern? I think it's that none of us has gotten very far. Yeah. It's Walter! Goodbye, everyone. I can't believe I've been down here for 30 years. What? What? On that first day, after the shaking started, what a I lovely think voice. I survived a week. Oh, but after a few days, I settled into a routine. That's what kept me sane. Having a schedule, living for today. I always expected to be dead tomorrow. But if you wait long enough, you get used to anything. Even a monster on the other side of the door starts to feel normal. Almost friendly. It's got a lot of hidden meaning, doesn't it, chat? And then one day, everything just... stopped. Whatever that thing was, it was gone. Maybe it got tired of waiting. Or maybe I just got tired of being afraid. It's been a week now. The longest no in peaches. 30 years. I'm done waiting. That's I it. have to leave while well, I still can. Yes! Let's go, Walter! Face your fears! I know it's out there, somewhere. The monster. Whatever killed Barbara. Hmm. And Molly. Oh. Come on, dude. That is so real on so many levels. And Calvin. He has to break down the wall. Maybe this is all a mistake. But I need to stop living the same day. Even if it kills me. You do. Whatever's out there, I want you to know, I'm ready for it. This is such a good representation of overcoming I'm trauma. I'm going to appreciate all of it, especially the food. This is such a good representation. A or a month. Or a single week. Exactly, exactly. I'd be happy with one new day. Exactly. I can already imagine the sun on my face. He got hit by a train? <laughs> How's that for trauma? Walter Sorry. died when I was six. I can't believe my mom never told me he was down here. <laughs> Imagine living down there, and then the, you, you finally get out, and you're walking across some tra train track, and then just boom, just smack. I'm sure my mom was trying to protect me. What's through here?
Maybe she was afraid I'd end up like Walter. Aww. But if she never told me about an uncle under the house, <laughs> I can only imagine what else she was hiding. <laughs> I don't want to make the same mistakes she <laughs> made. Imagine finding out right now that you've got an uncle that lived under your house. Trying to bury something that's still Chappie, alive. Chappie, thanks for the sub, man. <sighs> now that there's only one of us left... Hey, watch the train tracks. Maybe two. Watch the train tracks, dog. Watch yourself now. I thought it was time I heard the stories for myself. And found out what happened to everyone else. But now I'm worried the stories themselves might be the problem. Maybe we believed so much in a family curse, we made it real. Oh, that is, oh, Walter. Rips in the chat for Walter, our guy. Beautiful. Oh, some nice decorating. I don't know if I should even be writing this. Maybe it'd be better if all this just died with me. Nah, stories are meant to be told. Oh. Well, at least we know the electricity works. I thought work. you should know about your family. You should, yeah. And the history you're a part of. Yeah, it's weird. Uh, it, it was kind of a shock when I learned that my history of my family chat is that we were all thieves. Uh, that was pretty interesting history for all of you to know about me. All, all my family I'm history honest, is thieves and farmers. As as you probably do right now. Thieves and, and farmers. Pretty bad. Pretty I think bad. People in these stories believed them, for what that's worth. I don't want to go over this way, not that way. Can I go over this way? The road less traveled again, if we can. Doesn't look like it. Can I walk over this? Nah, damn it. Real talk, your family's all thieves and that's why you stole my heart. Oh my goodness. That is the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. This is a story game. I'd explain it like that, chat. Is that a fair enough? It's just a story game. And when you look at the house, some people call them walking history simulators. Of imagination and stubbornness and madness. I think they're Any a little bit more than possible. that. I don't think it's fair to call them walking simulators. It's storytelling, you know, through the medium of a video game. I think we've been surrounded by death for so long, we've just gotten used to it. Hmm. What kind of family finishes building a cemetery before starting the house? <laughs> That's not funny. Sorry. Sorry. It's embarrassing for me to admit this, but... But... The pet cemetery may be more uncomfortable than the human one. Three of the gerbils were mine, and two had been my fault. Oh, we got Derpy, Derpy Jr. We got Burpy, Chirpy, Furpy, Lurpy, and Zerpy. Then we got Zoe, Coco, Tucker, Charlie, Daisy, Lucy. We got Christopher, Shadow, Stratzy, Oliver, Bob. Man, take care of your pets. Bailey. Sven built the house, but it was Edie who designed the cemetery. I mean this in a wholesome way. I love cemeteries like this, family cemeteries, you know? And I love the idea of a pet cemetery being straight next to their owners. Do you know what I mean, chat? Because pets are as much of a family member as people in many cases. 
Molly. We've got Calvin. We've got Sven. we got Eddie. I love these tombstones too. We've got Walter. We've got Barbara. Oh, the little... Oh! That's a very cute tombstone. I'm sure Odin's monument had been Edie's idea. My mom was always trying to move on, but for Edie, the past never went away. Salute to Odin, chat. Came across the seas with a house on his back. Good on you, Odin. Salute. She could see it poking out of the water at low tide. Oh, that's the house! Oh my god, that's crazy! Edie said she dreamed about the old house every night. Who's that? Damn it. Edie's side was always easier for me to understand. Hmm. But the older I get, the more I can see where my mom was coming from. No, I think you should remember not forget. I disagree with forgetting things and forgetting family members and stuff like that. Her chat. dad had been pretty strict, but it wasn't enough to save her brothers. She was just trying to do better. Sad. She lost two of her brothers, just like I did. I get why she tried so hard to protect us. Milton. We never found Milton's body, so my mom insisted we were putting up a monument, not a tombstone. Oh, I love the crown. Lewis Finch. They die so young, don't they, chat? His family, they all, they all pass so young. There's so many things I wish I could ask my mom now. Part of me thinks this is what she wanted all along. For me to come back someday. And find everything out for myself. Hmm. Oh, treehouse! If you're new in the stream, we're playing as a uh, young woman. 17 years old now named Edith and she's going back to a house where she grew up with her family members who apparently all have a curse where they all die and she's the last of her family alive and we're learning about their history but and what happened to them. But looking back on it now. If she told me there was going to be so much climbing, <laughs> I never would have come when I was told. I love climbing. climbing. Wait. I'm pregnant? What? At 17, 22 weeks? Wait, that's not legal. Well, actually pretty crazy that here in Australia, the, the age limit is 16. I don't agree with it, but whatever. I never met Grandpa Sam, but I think he and my mom had a lot in common. They were both pretty intense. This does look... Whoa! <laughs> Sam spent his life shooting photos. But Can't wait to go hunting. Got nervous being in front of the camera. I guess we're all afraid of something. True. No, no, no. Go, go back to. Go back to. We'll do Sam's bit. Instead of hiding from death, Sam seemed to go out of his way to meet it. Hmm. Let's start Sam's chapter, shall we, chat? Let's see what Sam's all about. <laughs> oh, 
Ah, what? Dawn, I promise you'll never forget this weekend. Yes, sir. These memories are going to last a lifetime. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Am I going to have to shoot anything? It's going to rain the whole weekend, isn't it? Please just take the damn picture. Hey, language. Damn is a... I you don't understand why weekend, you guys Dad. think damn is a That's swear word. That's the spirit. Word. Okay, got it. I'm going to take some pictures, okay? Just be careful. That camera's older than you are. Making fun of a war vet is beneath you. It's a video game. Relax. Can I get an amen in the chat? Chill out, You're right, dude. Dad. It's, it's a video to clear game. Up. Still freezing, though. <laughs> Relax. What I say in a video game is no reflection on my philosophies of real life. Come on. Chill Aww. out. Do you also get mad at comedians when they're on stage and they crack jokes? Chill, dude. Seriously. Wait, where's my daughter? I should not have drunk all that coffee. That ain't my daughter, but I'll take Still a photo. Take a picture of you. Hey. <laughs> That's a keeper. I'm just saying, I'm not always gonna be here, Don. Yeah, flashbang out, am I right? If you want to survive. Flashbang out! He's fine, Dad. <laughs> you know who else thought he was gonna be fine? Some guy who died. Don, I'm being serious. I know, Dad. You're always serious. Doesn't being out here make you want to chill out? Well, to tell you the truth, I haven't been out here in 20 years. Take a photo of my fish. Take a photo of my brother. Don, don't you think you could find something more interesting to photograph? Like what? This? Last time I was with my brother Calvin. Man, that was a great trip. That? Your grandpa Sven taught us how to fish. How to build a fire. Dad! Good a eye, bird! Joy! I did! A stag! Whoop! Before you take the shot, let me get a picture of you. Dad, I... I... Just breathe. Turn off your imagination. Focus on your target. Yeah, don't even think about killing a living being. Just turn it all off. Just don't even think about it. Just kill it. Murder it. Murder that thing that has feelings and experiences things through its stimulus. Just kill it. Yeah. Yeehaw. Turn it all off. If you've got feelings, push them deep down into the belly of your gut. Do I have to do this? Don, you don't have to do anything. But if you want to survive, you'll need to be strong. Bah! Great shot, Don. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fucked. <laughs> this is this, That is fucked. That is taking a selfie with his daughter crying over a dead body. That is... Man... What the hell? Smile! That is crazy. Oh my god. Anyway, chat, I'm gonna put the kettle on and make a cup of coffee in peace.
Sorry, honey, I was just working on the focus. What a lovely family photo. I'm proud of you, Don. Always remember that, okay? <laughs> Just focus on the camera. Try not to think about- oh, hey! Yeah! Sorry. <laughs> because that story was so sweet, these stories, I'm gonna add some honey to my coffee. that my mom had told me. Ah. We love Spooderman, Spooderman, Spooderman does whatever a spider can. Oh man, this Spider-Man stuff is going crazy. Well, looks like the hunter became the hunted. Beautiful views in this house, chat. I get so tempted, chat, to buy a big house out, like, in the more country mountain area of Australia. But then you're so far away from everything, you know? Scroll through here. After Sam died, my mom and Edie got really close. They'd both lost a lot. Aww. Oh, come on, not a baby dying. Come on, man. No, 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 no. Oh, little Gregory. Divorce contract, Sam Finch. To. Dear Kay, do you remember the way Gregory used to laugh when he thought he was alone? Like something funny was happening, but only he could see it. This one might actually get me. <laughs> I think he saw things the rest of us don't. Mission Control, this is Gregory. We're under attack by a giant frog. I need backup on my position now, now, now. What? I'm this crazy little frog. Hey! Oh, it's time to get out of here, Mom. Hold on, sweetie. Hello. Yay! Sam, I told you I don't want to talk right now. We. My name's Gregory, and I'm having bath time, and I love it. Look at all the duckies. What his world was like. Yeah. Pop! Way! Hello, little ducks! Hello! You reminded me so, so much of Kelly. Lost in his so imagination. So Way! 
Hey! No, they're doing a little good. Way! Ha ha! Yes! Anybody know what this piece of music is called? It's super famous, right? Look, I'm up here now! Oh, I can smack all these little pieces in. Ha <laughs> ha! Am I meant to smack these in? Smack! 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 Get the Y! Get the Y, Greg! Good work! Good boy! Get the R! Nice! I got an achievement for that! Way up! Way up! Oh, what sure the? Sure made him happy. Way! Dude, I can't wait to have a kid and watch my kid play with all his toys. Or her toys. About a baby being too happy. But I can feel him slipping away. What do you mean? Sorry about that, Gregory. Hey, Mom. I know you did everything you could. Maybe if I hadn't called that night. Damn it. Hold on, I don't want Gregory to hear this. Huh? Look, Chad, I'm a little baby. Way, what's this? I wish he could have told us about the world he saw. Mom! Mommy! Ma oh! Hey, there's so much I don't understand about Gregory, about everything. Pull the thing! Giant, uh, giant whale! Happened. Pull the plug of my baby and I don't know how to swim! Pull the plug! I swear to God! I'm sure he's happy. Oh. And he'd want you to be happy too. Good luck, Kay. Love, Sam. I like to think that I'm a pretty strong person, chap. You know what I mean? Um, but a death of a child at Gregory's age? Nope. You know what I mean? I think that would drive me down. I think that's something that would crush your boy, Cray. I reckon that's something that would really, really fuck with me big time. Big time. Like, you never see me ever again, you know? Like, I'm gone, you know? Fuck. I can't imagine. I, I don't know if I could poetry. ever stream yeah. ever again or do anything like that. A poem for Gus, who always said the wedding was a bad idea. Our father never hit us kids, at least not very hard, before the day my brother said with teenage disregard that he'd be dead before he'd see a wedding in our yard. What a lovely poem. My father made him come, of course, but Gus stood far apart, just flew his kite and bottled up the storm inside his heart. I was the corniest kid, Chad. I used to write poetry. What a little loser. I tried to talk him out of it, 
But though he'd never met her, we don't need a stepmom or the words that I remember. And I wrote an adventure book and I wrote my own language. So lame. With an alphabet and everything. Way, there's all the letters. When the time for photos came, Dad ordered him to come, come here. here. But Gus declined, and as a sign held up his middle finger. Fuck you, Dad. I think I might be Gus. I think Gus might be me, chat. The wind picked up, and panicked geese appeared and quickly went. But all the humans did that day was go inside the tent. Don't tell me electricity's gonna strike my pretty little kite. That'd be devastating to everyone, not just me. So pretty and red. Wait. Screw this tent! Rain came down in buckets then, but no one seemed afraid that nature might destroy the tent our dad had crudely made. Way! Rap! Boom! The thunder sounded much too close and full of angry power. But all my father said to this was, Make the music louder. Uh oh. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Run, Gus, run! I wish that I could truly say I thought about you on that day. Out there on the beach alone. Just you, the wind, the sea, and foam. But I didn't. Until we found you. Bro, I don't think this family's cursed. I reckon they've got to look after their kids better. She never talked about him. Are you with me, chat? Like, once. Jesus, boy, dude. Look after your kids, man. They keep taking their eyes off all their kids. Ridiculous. Like, they're all terrible parents. I'm sorry. That's what this game has shown me. His family's just filled with terrible parents who don't watch their kids. There, I said it. Rock climbing! My mom moved up to the loft after her brothers died. At the time, it was as far away as she could get. Thanks for all the follows, chat. Thanks for all the subs, too. Welcome ev uh, in, everyone. The Holy Bible. Religion was another thing my mom never talked about. Right. I think it helped her a lot after her dad died. Too bad it's not helping your family, huh? Jesus Christ. Maybe pay for some fucking... Uh, pray or pay for some parenting advice. You know what I'm saying? Sheesh. No offense, but man... She spent a summer building houses in Calcutta, where she met my dad, Sanjay. Aww. My mom moved to India a week after graduation and got a job teaching English. Louis was born a year later. Cool job. Beautiful. When my dad died, I don't think mom knew where else to go. I'm sure Edie was happy to have her back. And to see kids in the house again. Basil, sage, thyme, and mint. And dawn. The house had to get a little bigger, but Edie was used to that. A little education room. And for a while, things were good. Almost normal. But it didn't last. <laughs> A 
Mr. Lewis rules. <laughs> beginning of the end was Milton's 10th birthday. I used when to write Nathan Ryan rocks on everything. It's one of my old emails. Nathan Ryan rocks on everything. Let's see what's in here. I think he was room. happy to finally have another painter in the family. They're, they're a huge family, aren't they, chat? Sometimes I get tempted, like, I, I always think, like, I would like to make a big family, chat. Because I've got a small family. Milton. Maybe I will just impregnate a lot of women and have a big family. Milton Finch in The Magic Paintbrush. Oh, that's very cool. How do I... disappeared where did he go Milton where did you go young man where did you disappear to eh where did he go you reckon chat just wanted to leave mom spent months searching for my brother then she sealed the doors What an amazing little artist. So much talent. He slept up here too, very cool. Whatever Milton had found in the house, mom didn't want it getting out. Chat, could you actually live out in a place like this? Yes? What about being so far away from everything, chat? You know, like town's all the way over there. It's like an hour and a half drive. Fires as well. Like, I'd be more worried about bushfires here in Australia damaging my home. I already do, Lamau. It's awful. Really? No witnesses. No witnesses. What? 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 what, what, what? You do get used to it. Mom definitely blamed Edie, but Oh listen, I you're not getting Lewis Uber Eats out here, let me tell you. Hell no. Dude, you're not even getting Uber out here, you feel me? After he graduated, he just spent more and more time in his room. Until mom got him a job at the cannery. Beautiful game. Everyone always told me to stay out of Lewis's Hey! Family, except Lewis. Hey! What is he doing in there? Yeah. 
Shit, man. I, I bet this is what a lot of your rooms look like right now, you little stoners. That part of him lived on. I bet you, you little stoners. Guarantee it. I guarantee it. I am definitely high right now. There you go. Blaze it. There you are. Diploma in... Oh, high school diploma. Lewis and I spent a lot of time playing games together, but he was surprisingly bad at them. He died a lot. Uh, hmm, I wonder why. Maybe because it was blazed out of his brain constantly, dude. Oh! <laughs> cool room, though. Let's find out a little bit about him. He gets drug overdose. Dear Mrs. Finch, as Lewis's psychiatrist, I can understand your desire for an explanation. As I see it, the oh, couple began in Germany, oh. shortly after we convinced your son to seek treatment for substance abuse. Oh, it feels Newly bad, Newly sober, man. I believe Lewis first noticed the monotony of his daily life. Hmm, very common thing. He kept working at the cannery, but he withdrew part of himself. In our sessions, I saw the same behavior. His mind began to... To what? Grab that, Lewis, grab that. Wonder. I asked him to describe it. He said he started small. Imagining a labyrinth. He'd feel his way about. Chat, so you know I'm doing then both of these new. things at once. Bats. This is a really good representation of daydreaming, isn't it, chat? Oh my god, this is really weird. It's actually a really good way of... Like, showing daydreaming. And things that have not names. He knew it was all in his head. He took it very seriously. I had hoped he'd find himself. Ooh. But he found something more. I worried about him then. Daydreaming at the cannery. I spoke with his boss. Is he accidentally going to slice his arm or something? But he said Lewis had become a model employee. Methodical, tireless, focused. Like a whole new Lewis. So I let him go on. Mm, you should have asked him about his quick change of behavior, though, a little bit more. I even encouraged him. Yeah, that's bad. It that's seemed very promising at first. As a psychiatrist, you should have picked up on that swift change in behavior. And just because it told seems me made a new productive doesn't mean it is. On the edge of a city he named Lewis Topia. He built the city up slowly, brick by brick. Then he made musicians. What is this called, chat, when somebody... And songs for them to play. What, what is it? There, there, there's a word for this, isn't there? He talked about starting a band. And he was always humming something. Escapism, yeah. Every day his imagination grew stronger. To a huge, like, to a huge, you know, like, degree, right? Like, this is a lot. He hey. no longer spoke at the cannery. But his chopping was as reliable as ever. Then one day it struck him that 
all the cheering crowds, even the stones under his feet, Not real. were all in his imagination. So he could do whatever he wished. Good evening, sirs. Good evening. Art is me, Kreatol. I am we leader of this here country. I shall now hold an election. And he won. It is Lord Lewis here. You also they bow down to, to my supremacy and legacy as king and mayor. It became a game for him. I shall sail from Lewistopia to a whole new land to find my wife. He'd conquer a city, then immediately push on. Let us conquer this city here. New Lewisville. New Lewisville, like I'm playing Civilization VI. Age of Empires has never been so grand. St. Louis. Oh, I love St. Louis. What a beautiful country it is. He started drifting away from our reality. Man, this reality is way better. Minneapolis. Min Minneapolis! Until one day he forgot to go home from the cannery. Oh! Even as his mother pleaded with him, part of Lewis kept sailing on. Mom, you're interrupting me. I'm... I'm doing things you don't understand. Get out of here. In Lewisburg, he heard rumors of a... a... handsome queen, a beautiful prince. Handsome queen! Handsome queen. Handsome? Oh! Her beauty is unrivaled. The queen was on her own quest for... Radiant rainbows! Left or right, chat? Left or right? Left or right, boys? Which one? Rainbows or serpents? Left wins. Left was quicker. Sinister serpents. Sinister serpents. Oh my god. Oh my god! She followed the sound of her. She played a silver harp. Silver harp. Yo. His chase led him to a golden palace east of the sun and west oh, of the moon. Oh! Where's my wife? Even then, his logic remained sound. It's her! My queen, where are he you going? The world was all in his imagination. We got a lot of fish! Oh my god, we're slowly becoming the king! But he was so proud of having created it. Open these gates. Thank you. In his own eyes, he'd become something greater than a king. What am I? For someone who'd never known success in the real world, I think it was overwhelming. And then it struck him that the real Lewis was not the one chopping salmon, but the one climbing the steps of a golden palace. My imagination is as real as my body, he told me. Oh my God. It was hard to argue with him. He's damn well lost his mind. Oh! I'm in the real world. I'm at the cannery. Oh, and I've come to a golden door. Is this me waking up to reality? He began to forget the world we know. Oh, imagine the smell. Chat, you ever worked in a place like this? Man, I'd hate the fish smell, you know? Fuck me. 
I think it pained him to remember ah. Lewis, the cannery worker. Sad that he's. He began to despise the man with a royal contempt. Oh, Lewis. I still thought I could save him. Even after he said he was being crowned king over all the lands of wonder. The palace would be packed with his companions. Hello. Yes, hello. How are you doing? Hello. <laughs> no. All this for me? Oh, come on. Oh, my God. Oh, look, it's all my viewers. <laughs> no, no, no. Stop throwing bras and panties at me. I can't handle it. Relax. No. I... Johnny! Big fella, what's been going on? Thanks for stopping. Appreciate you. Calico, who'd insisted on hey, hey, hey! Y'all know the vibes. Y'all know the vibes. Yo, yo, yo. Wow, it's a big cat. Yo, Molly. Oh. Oh, my God. It's my streamer queen chat. Poggers. Oh. It's me when I finally get a girlfriend. Oh. Look, it's all you guys celebrating. Yes, he did it. This is what it's actually going to feel like. When it happens, chat will rewatch this clip. Hey! Hey! Oh, oh! Thank you, mods. Thank you, mods. Appreciate you. Thank you for keeping me safe. That's right. Ban anyone who insults my wife. Ban him. Ban him. His queen waited, Ban him. holding his crown. Oh! I'm coming, honey. There was only one oh. thing left to do. Oh. Oh. All the shipping you did worked! Poggers! The shipping worked! <laughs> oh my god, it's her! Oh, I just spat with excitement. Finally! A wife! Streamer girlfriend! Oh, Bend down his head. Thank you, my queen. And the rest I think you know. Mrs. Finch, your son was a kind man who will be missed by all of us who knew him. She killed me! She killed me! She was just in it My for the views. Cool. I wish you could have met him. Sag in the chat. F's in the chat. She was just in it for the views. Oh. Don't worry. I'm used to it. They all know Cray, but which girl wants to get to know Nathan? <laughs> Classic Nathan line. On the way back from Lewis's funeral, my mom told me to start packing. Oh. She waited until the day before we left to tell Edie. I'm not sure if she wanted to make it easier or harder. Man, I think you got to tell people, dude. You can't just be, you know, telling them so quickly. You feel me, chat? I wish we'd stayed. But I understand why we left. Hmm. Yeah, because the house is cursed. Your whole family keeps dying, dude. My mom ended up leaving everything behind. Man, and you left everything behind? What happened that night had been coming for a long time. What Maybe happened that... should have come sooner. Where's your mum? Oh, wait, right, your mum has passed away and that's why we got the key to the house. Yep, 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 yep. But like, what happened to her mum, I wonder? But it had to end one way or another. Everything must come to an end, my friend. All oh my I God, it's- now was to tell you about that last night. It's my chapter chat. 
It's my room. Edith. I'm Edith. Oh. It's my bed. Write a story. Tell us how you feel, Edith. Go on. That whole last day, Edie just watched us pack and didn't say a word. Until supper, when she raised her glass and said, To our final night together, and all our final nights apart. Grandma, you know what I said about alcohol. Some of your medications are very Edith, specific. I left a present for you in the hallway. Why don't you go open it? The grown-ups have to argue now. I'm sorry, you're right. We're all leaving tomorrow. Let's just enjoy our last... I'm not leaving. Edith, you're excused. She's not leaving. This is her house. The power had been shut off that morning, but Edie always had plenty of candles. Beautiful, I love candles. When my mom sailed the library, I don't think she knew about the other entrance. Or that Edie had a key to it. <laughs> old people are so dastardly. Don't you reckon, chat? I love that old people just do not care. I've got a secret key. You can't kick me out. I'm old. I'll be dead soon. I don't care. That thing you're afraid of isn't going to end when you leave the house. Edith has a right to know these stories. True. My children are dead because of your stories. I think uh, it's best if Edith and I leave tonight. That's a little cruel. Boo, Edith's mom. We'll mom. have the nursing home send a van for you in the morning. Okay. Too far. Dear Edith, there's so many stories I wish I could tell you, but there's only time for one. This is about what happened on the night you were born. That night, the tide went way, way out. I got goosebumps. It was the first and last time I ever saw the old house aground. There'd been an earthquake out in the middle of the ocean. Tsunami! They called it the lowest tide in a thousand years. God, it smelled awful. Wow. I've seen that house every day of my life. And finally you get to go to it. But I never thought I'd go back to it. When the fog rolled in, I lost my way. Oh! Uh-oh. I got turned around. No, we just go around the rock. Man, old people are dumb as hell. Just go around the rock. For a while, I wandered. Where the hell am I? Hello? I started seeing things. Things I'd forgotten had ever existed. What a dear. Oh no, a bed frame. But when I saw them, oh they my God. felt like old friends. Oh my God, a book. Oh my that god, a wheelchair. Night, a lot of things came Oh my back god, some closets. Me. Oh my god, I forgot these existed. Oh my god, a stove. Dude, life is so wacky. I forgot these things ever existed. Or maybe I came back to them. <sighs> things I can't explain, but that I need you to try and... <sighs> What are you doing in here? Hey, I'm reading. It's mine. Edith. Give me that. Mom, you're going to rip it. Let go. Let go, Mom. I kicked <gasps> and screamed, but Mom dragged me to the car. I never saw Great Grandma Edie again. Grandma! Grandma Edie, no! 
The next morning, the band came to pick her up. Oh! But she was already gone. That is, that is cruelty. Holy fuck. After that, we moved around a lot. What? I used to do this. We both tried to make the best of it. A few years went by. Letters. My mom didn't like to talk about it. But she started getting sick a lot. Hey! The rest happened pretty quickly. Watch where you're coughing! There's a pandemic going around, Mom! Oh! She got better for a while. <laughs> and then she didn't. And then I was alone. The last finch left alive. Until I found out about you. I'm still not sure what to tell you about all this. Me? No, I'm Nathan Ryan. If we lived forever, I'm maybe Nathan, we'd have time to I'm understand I'm Nathan things. Ryan. I'm not Nathan Finch. But as it is, I think the best we can do is try to open our eyes. Where's the fucking stash? Man, it's been gone for four and months. I how strange and brief all of this is. I'm in a womb? I think This that... journal was supposed to be for you. Am I in a vagina? No, vaginas aren't as pretty. I hope you'll never see it. Facts in the chat. Vaginas ain't as pretty. It's I just too pretty to be a vagina, you know what I mean? And tell you all these stories myself. But I guess if you're reading this now... Wait! I am a baby coming out of vagina! I'm gonna squeeze through! <laughs> This is where your story begins. I'm sorry I won't be there to see it. It's a lot to ask, but I don't want you to be sad that I'm gone. I want you to be amazed that any of us ever had a chance what to be here What are at with all. this Finch Good family luck. and leaving their kids alone all the time? Oh, she died during childbirth. Oh. Wait, I was playing as that kid the entire time, not Edith? Or was I playing as... Did that kid not go back and check, like, and run through and he found out the story? No, you were Edith, right. Look at all these kid photos. Oh, hello. Hello, Chris Bell, lead designer. Yeah! Very cute, very cute. Man, yeah. Look, it's the first adult that actually uh, made the game, dude. All these kids, dude. Smart kids to make a game like this. Any trues in the chat? Smart kids, man. It didn't, it didn't tell us what happened that night. That night, um, the mum found Edith reading the, um, the story, um, from, um, the, uh, her grandma. They took off and she never saw her grandma ever again, never got to read any of the stories of her family. And when her mum died, her mum left her a, um, key to the house to go back and see all the stories that she should have seen when she was younger. When Edith went back, she was 22 months pregnant. And so 
She knew that she was going to die during childbirth, so she left a key for her son to go back and read the stories and know his family too. Wait, 22 weeks, not 22 months. 22 weeks. It's a good game. It was good, but to be quite honest, look at that baby on the left. Um, it wasn't as, as emotional as I thought it was going to be for me, chat. Maybe it's just not my kind of emotional, you know what I mean? It didn't really get me in that way. It was more just an interesting story. I got goosebumps, but it wasn't the emotional... Yeah, yeah, the kind of, um, the way the story is told, uh, the way it's represented. Was a good game though, chat. What did you think? Yay or nay? Did you like it? In my opinion, it was just very, uh, it was very immersive. Yeah, it was a good game. It was a good game. Oh, there's the team. Awesome. Can you choose different bits of the story, can you? No. Poor Gregory. Gregory was very sad, hey. The Gregory one was very sad. Damn chat, I guess that's that. Everyone say bye to Edith Finch. Another another variety game finished. Bye. Bye now. Bye now. Oh, man, that was cool. Bye Edith Finch, that was cool. The representation was really, 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 really cool. Mm. Really cool. You done for the day? Um. Um. Hmm. Am I done for the day? Am I done for the day? Little four hour stream. Might not be bad to call it. It is like, I kind of feel like looking at houses again, but I don't know if you guys would be interested in that again. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I don't know. I love looking at houses. It's your call, my guy. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm feeling a bit up and down, you know? Not sure. We could look at some houses, chat, if you would like. It's always a bit of fun, isn't it, to dream of nice, big, beautiful houses like these? Do affordable houses. So around like $8 million is what you'd probably be looking at for affordable in today's real estate uh, market. So around $8 million for a good house that's affordable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Around about that, around about that. Just chatting. Um, 
Well, we are looking at real estate. For me, try 10,000. Also, you'd like to live in a bucket. Right, you'd like to live in a bucket. Got you, a bucket is what's for you. Let's check out this $8 million home. $8 million chat, you win the lottery, you become a famous streamer, you get a lot of subs. Very affordable for you, you know what I mean? What's up everybody, it's NS here. Welcome to another episode. This week we're in Hollywood It's Hills crazy that $8 million in right some here. areas gets this you like the biggest house you've ever seen and in other areas it gets you really not the best house you've ever seen this is your two-car garage and this is where we have the entry of this property nicely fenced like when we look at 23 million dollar homes way, chat sometimes i side, think that some of those should be right worth eight million if you know what i mean above. location here, location location no you are right picture of this home beautiful smooth stucco finish on the outside nice siding detail that really you like the outside chat this property as we follow this walkway, it takes us up to the entry of this property. On my right hand side, we have oh, I love water the water feature. feature. Massive picture window right here, and another one right above this beautiful pivot door. Now, let's go take a look at If side. you pay $8 million, you better not live here next to er anyone. Dude, property. house prices right, right now, you side, should not buy here in Australia. Outside, it's crazy right above, now, dude. Do not buy here in Australia right, right now. Side, steel floating staircase. Leads My God, everything is property. right up. And right here, we have fit up a closet right here. And as we walk this way, this is where we have the living room of this house. On my right hand side, formal dining room area and the kitchen. But before we talk about this side of the home, why don't we take the first door right here so we can tour the three bedrooms that they have on this level. Right here, we have a bit of a hallway, powder room, for the first floor, nice fabricated countertops. This is marble. Eight and million? A backsplash and a nice light fixture right here. Bedroom number one on this level. Pretty straightforward. We have the closet right here, nicely shelved in on the inside with these folding doors. And it's who's the man to the, to the left of the closets there? Oh, uh, Eight uh, million Eastwood. for this like, chat? Good. Very good. Mm -hmm. new and actor, I'm surprised. Mm -hmm. It makes right. it reminds right. me of like it's so dreary and there's no like for this room eight nice million vanity, for no that bathroom, bathroom dude. Nice opening Fuck the vanity off. Where you can put your towels. <laughs> oh my cool god. Line. Back wall is tight. hell no. And we have a walking. Are you with me, chat? Am I crazy or hell no? Nice it does have a creepy feeling right. to it. That's it for the first and did you notice the humming and the open vents the that they skimmed over and the open server look that's where your internet look open look at him skim right over it mention that it looks like shit door number two seamlessly blending into this walnut wall yeah it's awful is the second bedroom about the same size dude this house is so echoey way, if i'm in this bedroom you're gonna hear me in the lounge room this is nice awful home the quartz countertops again tile back wall and this the bathrooms are plain as and this is it for bedroom number two now let's go who back feels me chat it's really bad area. this whole like Another wall the right walnut here. wall this is, is just awful Beautiful marble countertops, plenty of storage, and a stacked washer and dryer. All right, the last door on this side, which is the bedroom number three. This one is the biggest out of the three that we just toured. Get some nice sliding glass doors that tucks all the way to this side, so you can access to your patio space. Mm. Good size room. Gets a lot of. I hate the light. walnut walls. And the walnut walls. This wall. is where we have the walk-in closet pretty good size for a bedroom like this and as we get out of the closet let's not forget ensuite bathroom for this bedroom nice awning window above on my left hand side we have the wall mounted toilet and right here is a unique touch modern pedestal sink which is really cool wall fixtures and of course LED lit mirror right here now before we leave this bathroom, I hate touchable, good side, touchable mirrors. Shower, Anybody else nice the same? I don't rain, want to smudge my mirror image, up. Your rain head. Yeah, it makes it feel like a need. 70s, 60s, no, even 80s. Bedroom, right here, 70s business room where they talk about how to sell more cigarettes to people. And coming to the 
living room area. Let's take our time and talk about the space. Extremely Good gross. The walnut does right not here, match anything in the this room. This is where we have the linear gas fireplace, clad with marble on the bottom, limestone on top, and this limestone wraps around this wall. TV is situated here, and this is where we have the living room furniture. And last thing I want to mention in this living room. Right. You take a seat right here because you're watching your TV, but at the same time on my left-hand side, through the sliding glass doors, you can get a perfect look at the Hollywood sign. That's now, cool. That's rare, and that's the unique quality of this house up in the Hollywood Hills. That kind of wraps our tour on the living room. I want to mention these slides. Dude, what you do is, right, chat? Are you ready for me to fix this fucking house? You strip all this walnut up. You extend the walls out. You make these bedrooms bigger. You get rid of this shit-ass laundry here that has no place being in this spot of the house and you make a wall here and you push this entire section here back this way so you got bigger bedrooms more room you get rid of the server you get rid of these ugly uh black plugs that are absolutely everywhere and in the in the other room the server um section that should be in the garage that should not be in a in a hallway at Lighting all doors. good god side, dude open up to the patio space we'll talk more about the patio later on but now let's focus on the kitchen. What's with the obsession with this, this gross walnut that doesn't match anything? On this side. Breakfast mix here, table for four, and your kitchen setup starts right here. Miele espresso maker. I love these. Poggers. And here's a little unique twist to it. This is the Artline series, and they have the gray color right here. A lot of times the ones that we see are stainless steel and black finishes. This is a little bit unique, a little bit different. Obviously, you have your built-in oven, microwave setup right here. Now, let's talk about this side of the kitchen. Beautiful marble countertops. Mikey, can you come close? Because they use the same countertop, fabricated. But it into doesn't a sink. match the but walnut the at all. They also use the same can I get an amen in the side. chat? But it doesn't nice match underneath. anything. It doesn't Panel matter that it's a beautiful washer. countertop. And it, as we it looks so. Inside, it doesn't complement right anything here. at all. Really, and this white signature wall here doesn't match this. This doesn't match that. This doesn't match that. That charcoal doesn't match this white rug. The floors don't match this. The floors don't match that. The floors don't match this. The floors don't match that. Being from San Francisco, I can confirm that you pay for location in California. It's actually wild. I go to university in the south and it's legit a fifth of the price for a bigger home there. But I love Carly, it's worth it for me at least. Stainless steel toe cakes to give it a little bit of color. Does that serve any practical purpose or is that just for looks? It's durable because it's stainless steel. If it was wood, as you hit it, you may damage it. Because it's metal, it's a little bit more durable and it just gives it a little contrast. Panel, Very easy to clean as fridge, well. The freezer set up right here, all melee. And let's talk about the formal dining room area. Nice live edge table. And I kind of like this mid-century inspired chairs over here. Beautiful chandelier design above. And what a great way to complement the formal dining room area, wine cellar. This whole wall is the wine cellar. And let me open use see-through glass. Don't use this this black glass here. It doesn't match control, anything the in the you house. You can't even lock it if you want. Yeah, keep that wine safe. That's right. All right, last door on this floor. This is where you get access to your two. Yeah, garage. and you always pay for location, Zoys, for the most part in real estate. Of this house, as we're wrapping yeah. our tour on this level. Before we get up to the second floor, cool bike, cool motorcycle right here underneath the staircase. And cool. That's it doesn't much match the house at all. On this level. Now let's take Even the, the fucking motorbike doesn't the match the with floor. its yellow seat. Oh. Oh my god. Not a bad bedroom. Lovely bathroom. Oh, spectacular. Countertop actually matches something there. Wow, what a view. Before we go to the second floor of this property, let's talk about this open riser steel staircase. It's bolted to the framing on this side. And right here, they have these metal grid details. Yeah, but chat, hear me out here, right? You see how this walnut is a lighter walnut than this? It just doesn't match at all. 
that are actually tied like the up stairs are the ugly this this walnut, the lighter the walnut, area, should follow nice throughout the house more than the dark walnut in. downstairs. Side, or get an even darker bathroom. walnut so Before it matches the flooring, the concrete grayish this is flooring. This first bedroom on this level. This bedroom is currently staged as an office, gets incredible views of downtown LA, Griffith Observatory, and Hollywood sign. And as you take a seat here, this is just a perfect room to get some work done. And since we're right here, I hope everybody's enjoying the video. If you do, make sure to give us a like. If you have any questions or comments, always leave us a comment down below. Now, this is one of the bedrooms on this level, and that's why it has its own closet, which is right here. And this is the bathroom for this bedroom. Nice floating vanity, tile wall right here continues in to the walk-in shower. This is where you get your bed set up, rain head, all you would need. Now, let's go back to the landing of the second floor. And we're back at the hallway. And as we follow this hallway, it takes us up here, which is the- Notice how loud the air, air conditioning is in. chat throughout the house. I don't know space, if you noticed, nice seating but they've area. got ducted, um, side, ducted air, fireplace. but every time he passes Pretty one of those damn room. vents, Yep. We have the king bed on my left hand side with the wall sconces on the each side. These glass doors pocket on this side. These glass doors pocket right here. So this corner opens up to the main balcony on the second floor. It's a good sized room. I'm not even kidding. Same this is the only well Close done room here. in the entire and house. Before we tour the master bath. Compliment wise. This is the walk-in closet for the master bedroom. Pretty spacious. Nice. A really cool light fixture. A lot of hanger space, a lot of drawers, LED lighting all the way underneath the main island right here and let's not forget the little seating area for you to tie your shoes all right back at the massive bedroom cool door and this massive door opens up and voila beautiful tiles on the floor nice freestanding tub nice bathroom freestanding tub not only has this open corner design also gets a perfect view of downtown wow LA. that's cool it's a little bit hazy today so i hope you guys can get a clear view and right here, we have the floating vanity set up. That's Beautiful a legit sports room, is nice it really? Fabricated sinks with the hidden drains. You get your LED lighting and the same floor tiles are also used right here. This should follow throughout the entire house. Do you see what I'm trying to say, chat? This design, this should follow throughout the entire house in every bathroom. Has a backsplash. Why are you mixing it up so area. much? And this is a massive That's a really good shower. addition, the makeup um, section. Same brass finish. Awesome shower, beautiful. Glass really good, see these gold um, tap Obviously, handles here. The gold shower. there, really lovely. The glossiness is awesome. There's a bench where you can sit or place your things drain. down here. You get your really good. It's a really good size walk-in shower. That's yeah, a really nice shower. That's really well done. Maybe even I love these kind of shower heads as well. Why don't we go back to the master bedroom so we can open up all those glass doors and let's talk about that balcony. People like to have different themed First bathrooms. All, Just a shame the others aren't up to the standard. From your bed, for an eight million dollar home, it's not up to standard if you ask me, chat. The Hollywood sign and even Hollywood not as Hollywood, is. Which is incredible. The only reason I would the buy this house is for its location, and then I'd Hollywood strip Hills a lot of the house. Getting views. But this one gets a lot of different views. Even if I had the money, chat. As we step out yeah or nay? Do, do you think this is worth eight million dollars? Eight million dollars? The timeless. Oh, hang on, backyard, pretty big size. Over here, you get a nice breeze up here. We are so high up. And again, let's briefly establish the views. We have the Hollywood sign right there, Hollywood Reservoir. I think you'd be a fool to be a millionaire and buy this home. And go towards the master bathroom where we have the freestanding tub, which is right here. These glass doors also pack it in. That's nice. And like I mentioned, your all the way. That's nice. Gets an incredible view of downtown Los Angeles, which is on this side. Lastly, your office, which is the first bedroom we toured on this level, also opens up to this balcony. Doesn't slide into the wall though. Which makes it great. I feel like whoever mm, buys this home needs to slide into the wall though, doesn't it? Their master bedroom slash office. It's and nice, as we but go towards the edge of this balcony. This is where you get a good look 
at the beautiful backyard space that this house has. In fact, why don't we go downstairs, open up beautiful backyard, so we can take a look at the backyard. And a pool? Oh. Now we're, oh, oh, now we're talking. Shame that the backyard matches so well color, color theme wise and everything, but then the rest of the house just doesn't match at all. All right, we're back at the first floor of this house. Like I mentioned, I why fucking don't we hate this room open up this so much glass floor right here. I already opened up the kitchen side and here we go. This stacks to the end and we go straight out to the patio of this house. It's a really nice space. Me too, nice limes, me too. All the way till the edge. And a unique touch, they inserted these AstroTurf strips right here to bring a little bit of pop of color to this patio deck right here. On my right hand side, we have a bit of a seating, concrete gas fire pit, and more bench seating on this side with the nice recessed lights on the bottom. And as we look this way- Skip this chat, um, I think I'm pretty done with this house. What do you reckon? I think I'm, let, let's see at night. Right, Mikey, why don't you come down on this side so you can It's see a it. beautiful backyard. Uh, having him stand here gives a lot more perspective. You've got a huge ground area here. You can have some fun here, you know, kick a ball around, stuff like that. You've got a lovely pool with a projector. Let's keep it cozy. So like cozy, like fire nice pits everywhere, club. fire pits know, over right? here. I know. Spa and pool, so basketball, shoot some hoops. You can have like some friends shooting hoops, some people in the pool, hopefully pool is heated. Uh, I think it is because it's connected to the spa. You got this area where some friends can hang out, look over, you put a barbecue here or over here, bam, you got some food going. Lovely, and of course, a lot of memories in it. This, this backyard is also projector. good well, for like kids and shit, right you know, now. any trues in the chat it's incredible. for when Imagine you have a family. Have your kids out here, watch right a movie. There. You know, you now, can be cooking here. It's all open plain so you can watch your kids swimming. Make sure they're safe. The third fire feature. Yeah, another fire feature. And huge, long, feature. great, awesome uh, Mikey, feature wall. This, this bush here for privacy from your neighbors. Cool Absolutely is this? beautiful. This is pretty awesome. This this house was cool is, these two the big day, things man. here add a lot to the At mood. Night, it really comes to life. And the backyard here, is A class. The backyard is A class. A class. who likes to entertain. You the backyard with the view is space. You get an incredible A plus. Modern home. And I mean, check this out. We have the San Fernando Valley right here. Hollywood Hills. Oh, for this house in Australia, uh, 15, 25 million. Observatory and downtown Los Angeles. If it's got a view oh like this, side, this view is 30 million in Australia. It doesn't get much better than this. And now we're going to talk to Oliver Thornton, who is the listing agent of this property. All right, everyone. So we have Oliver here, who is the listing agent of this property. Oliver, do you mind introducing yourself to our viewers who may not know you? Hey, guys. I'm Oliver Thornton. I'm a real estate agent at... Mm, nice house, but uh, it lacks interior uh, design. I hate the color scheme. Uh, a, a lot of it, chat, hear me out, is, is really bad. Really, really bad. Beverly Hills for 18 million. What's up, everybody? It's NS here. Seen it. The pool looked like it was, uh, it got swamp water in it. I remember this one. Germany! Thank you so much for the subs. Good God. Inside the most expensive Malibu mountainside mansion. Thank you, Jermaine. Sorry, it's Jermaine, isn't it? Thank you. Not Germany. Thank you for the five gifted subs, man. Hi, everyone. It's Ennis here. Welcome to another episode. This week, we're in Malibu, California, and about to tour this stunning new That pool is stunning, right with the view as well. This home was designed and built by the legendary Scott Giller. House gets amazing views of the Pacific Ocean. The outdoors of the house looks finishes. extremely plain, though. What do you reckon, chat? And it's certainly one of a kind home, and that's why- I'm That really is the blandest wall I've ever seen. So, now, so if you're asking why I'm being critical, chat, it's because it's a $35 million home. You know what I mean? It's like, you have home. to be critical if you've got that much money. Jesus. 15,500 square feet of interior space built on a 148,290 square foot lot. And this property is currently on the market for 49 million. It's 49 000. million dollars. As always, we will leave more information about 49.5. So it's 50 million dollars. Before we start our tour, I want to thank the designer, Scott Gillen, for allowing And it looks like the outside is built by a fucking Minecraft view. builder, now to be honest with tour. you. That wall is hideous. 
The outside is hideous. Very airy interior, and I love the, the, the wood on the top of the, the roof. That's really nice. The interior is nice, everything matches Sometimes very clean. People forget it's very how expensive airy. parts of California are. We have so many homeless people is cause of cost of living. My dad just bought my sister and her family a house in Silicon Valley. Couldn't find one over two thousand square feet for under three mil. Very insane. Yeah. That's a very pretty in interior. Can I get an amen? If, uh, yay or nay if you like the interior. From the street level, we have the gate oh, lovely driveway. Oh, pristine. Driveway. Gate entrance as well. Right here, we so nice. Floor. Vegetation and all around the edges. Oh, that's very nice. And on our right hand side, we have the detached. Those square windows are hideous. I hate those square windows. Garage, Put some arches and things in. Two bedroom suites upstairs and an open living room kitchen area. This guest home is incredible, and we're going to tour that later in the video. I don't need a guest home. As we home. continue, driveway opens up to the main home, and on our right-hand side, we have the amazing views of the canyon. Wow. I mean, it's incredible. This is what you see as you pull up to the property. We have some seating areas over here. It's beautifully landscaped. Needs a bigger garage. How big was the garage? Two, two cars. Did he say two-car garage? Windows Smashing? Complimented with this enclosed entry with beautiful teak paneling. Four cars, right here we have the 50 million we have dollar home. Level where we have the media room. Again, we'll tour that later in the video. Dude, I want to be able to fit my 15 Lamborghinis. And we have the Can I get an amen? If, if you got 50 million dollars to spend on a back. house. All right, everyone, here we are at the entry. Right here, we have the enclosed uh, cigar lounge and the wine cellar here. And as we wrap around and follow this hallway, there's actually one detail I would like to point out. Mikey, can we pin down to the floors? The steel runners actually match the columns perfectly right in the center, so everything is beautifully proportioned. That's and nice. This hallway takes you to the living room, kitchen, all this open space. Oh, I don't mind the living room there. chat. Very airy and floor. open feel. Looks like it, it smells nice, there. you know? Floating vanity design with a drop-in sink. We have a casement window right here, nice and spacious. And before we leave the water closet, we have this beautiful teak barn door right here. Now, as we step out- That bathroom is hideous. Hallway, right in front of us, barn door spacious. <laughs> $50 million, by the way. Chat, seriously, this my bathroom is nicer than this. $50 million. There shouldn't be one bathroom in this entire house that looks like this. I'm sorry. $50 million. Come on, chat. Who's with me? Honestly, think about it. 50 million, not 20, not 30, not 40, 50, and you get a bathroom like this at the, at the start of your home. No. These real estate agents need to... And before we leave the water closet, Need to stop fucking with us a bit. No, that is a right shit there. bathroom. Yeah, the tiles are something you find in a hotel. Right in front of us, we have the spacious living room. Floor to ceiling, fleet with glass doors, opening up to the outdoors and the amazing views. We have two story ceilings here, chandelier right in the center, beautiful couch setup. Some of nice you might find this a, right a minimalist or like kind of like plain, but I think this room sets its purpose and it does room. what it nice wants to do well. Seating. You they know what I mean? The same white cement uh, concrete floors also I here. And let's open up the second pivot door. This opens up to the temperature controlled wine cellar. This wine cellar holds up to 450 bottles. It's built out of the same teak that we're gonna see throughout the entire home, which is super exquisite. Overall, this is another Yeah, the great wood space. looks lovely. And of course, we have the same exposed uh, glue lamp beams also here as well. Getting out, and let's go toward the room next door, which is the Scar Lounge. Scott is a big Cigar. The Scar Lounge. Which is the Scar Lounge. Scott is a big cigar fan, so we came up with this addition here as well, which is a really cool touch. I love the light fixtures above. And just Raise the door the off the fucking floor! That covers the wine lounge as well as this side as well. Yeah, it's pretty nice. How do they. It's uh, actually they a nice sound. Like, um, smoking cigars in here. In right some here. ways. So I don't know how much I would like it over time. 
Yeah, yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, let's go back out. The reason why the, the doors floor, are like that way, is so air can't travel underneath, especially in the out. wine cellar, if you want to know why they actually have seating area right ground here touching doors that slide. It's because that's an air controlled area of the house. It's incredible. And while we're up here, and also it helps with soundproofing the home if it's very echoey as well. Having ground touching doors like that in million dollar homes. And paint it and hand send it. So it has yeah, and, and he did say they smoked and cigars the in there, side, didn't they, you can chat? See the exposed yeah. joist hangers as well that gives that industrial look. Yeah, yeah there's so many we've reasons. We've seen this in a few homes before, but for our audience out there that doesn't know, what is a glue lamp? Glue lamp is actually a manufactured beam. So they stack two by fours on top of each other and then join them together and they bake them. So they create these really strong uh, manufactured beams. And then it's you cool. can do whatever finish you want on top to get the look you want. Yeah, so I guess it just gives you more flexibility in design overall, right? Absolutely. All right, now, by the way, also, we have the staircase on the other side going down to the lower level and the second floor. Mm. And lastly, there you go. We have these stacking glass doors opening up to the whole Don't need to see this bit. room. I it's can already see it. Of, glass. Continue. of course, on that side, opening up. But right in front of us, we have this amazing kitchen. Two-tone cabinetry. We have this massive island up front with bar seating. You like it, chat? Above. And of course, we have this what do you reckon? exposed beam details here as well. This kitchen is very sleek and elegant. But before we talk about that, why don't we go this way? Go through this, this barn door to check out the what, butler's what, 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 Chat, what is this? What is this? It looks so out of position here. What is this? What is this thing? Does anybody know? Entry. Plenty of cabinetry to store your food. We have a casement That's window an here. Sink some upper cabinets and the first dishwasher is located here As dude what is kitchen, this room man right you side. can't make every room that is away from the main rooms look ugly it's a 50 million dollar fucking home we have the sub-zero commercial fridge and freezer and the it's a fridge and freezer cabinetry continues mikey can we get a close-up I love this tin profile countertop here as well it looks very elegant and sleek so i wanted to mention that yeah it's really really nice i agree Second sink is located here. You have this massive picture window looking towards the amazing canyon views. Dishwasher number two, nicely paneled. And dishwasher three is located here. They didn't go with any uppers. So we have these open shelving here and exterior door that opens up to the motor court. So you have an easy access to the kitchen as well. Now let's talk about the main kitchen area. I'm gonna start with the island. We have the third sink here. Uh, bolt up countertops as well, dual elevation, bar seating on the other side. Mikey, let's get a close up on this drawer setup. I mean, the hardware, everything, every finish in this uh, cabinetry is simply amazing. I yeah, could just really buy that at Cole. I could clothes, buy that at bloody IKEA. Uh, two stove setups with these pop up hood vents. Let's show that real quick. Because they didn't want to have anything dropping down from the ceiling, they wanted to keep that. You could go down the road and buy that. And I love uh, that, even that the knobs are nicely recessed into the cabinetry as well. There you go. We have the vents popping up. That's nice. Of course, panel lights on the other side. From your kitchen, you get the amazing views. Now, as we turn around to the other side, we have the second Sub-Zero commercial fridge here. More built-ins, oven setup. Mikey, let's get a close-up. I mean, the cabinetry is amazing. So I, want to I love those kind of out. cabinets. <laughs> Lastly, you have more base cabinets here. Some open shelving and refrigerator drawers. We little like coffee these. area. Yeah, we don't get to see these enough. I like that. Little coffee One area. I'd love a coffee spot in my house. Windows or tea area. Kitchen, just like you know, the office. Just for coffee and tea chat. Space with natural light. Now, let's open up these sliding glass doors and check out the pool deck. This outdoor space is simply amazing. We have the pool, amazing views, and these sliding glass doors stack on that side, open up the dining room. Man, chat, what do you reckon about the main areas for $50 million? I'm going to say it, 6 out of 10 from Cray. 6 out of 10. What about you guys? T t 6 out of 10. 6. 5 out of 10. The view is 10 out of 10. Yeah. 3, 7, 5. Decking and decking pretty much continues to the other side where we have if, if you put your mind in the mind of a, somebody who can afford a 50 million dollar home there's better homes for cheaper that i've seen getting glass you know what i mean and, and the rest of back over open the floor and this sliding glass door rain had a brush table up vanity set up and since it's spacious you can probably put a sauna or a massage table here in the future now as we continue we have the staircase here 
taking us up to the second floor where we have two spacious guest suites. This is just guest home. I don't care about the guest home. You know what I mean? It's clad with it as well. Take and us upstairs. As we're coming up the stairs, there's one more detail. Love like the stairs. The stairs are lovely. Steel runners, just like the first floor. With the oak hardwood I actually wish the steel like runners were a contest. different color or something, oh, chat. I'm unsure what, what it now, would be. Now, here we but... are on the second floor landing. It's nice and open. We have more of these bolt-up built-ins on the left-hand side. This pivot door opens up the main bedroom. amazing primary bedroom, which we're going to tour in a bit. Hey! And the landing has this nice seating area here. TV on the other side. We can actually see the exposed... Why is the TV up here? A little bit closer over here. Bookshelf. And since we have that... Bookshelf. Ceiling, Bookshelf. The living room, Put some things... Space open. You know what I mean, chat? Put some things around. From here Bookshelf. Well. Now, Books. As we continue... Uh, Maybe a, 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 a thing that I can show my figurines on suite. and my anime this collection. Bedroom, just like the other ones, is extremely spacious. We have the built-ins on the left-hand side with a desk setup, king-size bed here, bit of a seating area, and just like the rest of the home, we have these smaller casement windows. All it's a hideous and bedroom, and you know it, dude. It's so private. plain. As we the, continue, this is not a fifty we million have more dollar here. And going in, this no walk-in robe. Come on, nice man! Spacious. I don't care Custom that it's not the main bedroom. It's fifty million and dollars. Shower. And we have the tiles installed. The tiles are hideous. In the walk-in shower. The tiles are something you see pictures. in a hotel. Of course, you get your floating vanity with drop. The floating sink. vanity it it literally looks now, awful. What are you talking about? Like to the plain white. It, it just does not. It's just too much. Got the designer placed in this massive picture window. For you to take advantage of these amazing ocean views so every single one of the bedrooms gets an ocean view but if you want to uh keep it private you actually have an automatic shade above yeah nice detail that's really cool i uh would have never thought to put something like that just to that's get not a bad detail views. yeah i mean he's truly making the best use out of the space yeah true now that's not bad as we continue we have this but if i'm fucking my wife in there somebody might come across and, and uh, forget to turn down the bloody thing you know you oh, see wait. Same oak hardwood floors. Damn it! More built-in desk setup on the right-hand side with casement windows opening towards the back of the property. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Pretty. And this is where we have the second guest suite. Come on in. This is another spacious guest suite. Whoa. We have the king-size bed on our right-hand side, Fleetwood glass doors opening up to an outdoor balcony shared by two guest These suites bedrooms. on the side of the home. Are not fifty way, million dollar bedrooms. The Any trues in the chat? Is pretty similar that is not a fifty million dollar bathroom. A massive walk-in shower. That is not worth it at tiles. all. It's plain. And it's basic. Here it's well. something that but you literally see, and I don't even mean this as an insult because I guess your bathroom is worth fifty million dollars. But that bathroom you'd find in like a one point five to two point five million dollar home easy. I've seen better. I've I've seen better bathrooms in a one point five to two point five million dollar home. Before we exit this bedroom, there's one more detail I would like to point out. These built-in closets are also built by Scott and his company. And in fact, if you look at the hardware cover here, you can see his brand. Wanted to point that out as well. Put this back up here. There you go. Now, we're back at the hallway. Good, now I know who to never buy from in a thousand years. Thank you for that, dude. And Appreciate towards you, the man. end, we have the built-in seating Jesus. here. Picture windows bring a ton of natural light and some open shelving. And the door right behind me opens up to the third bedroom suite. I feel like I said this a lot today, but this is another extremely spacious guest suite. We have the king size bed on the left. More of these casement windows above bring in natural light, recessed lights, built-ins right here with the TV set up. And lastly, same fleet with glass doors are also here opening up to the deck space shared by the guest suite that we just toured. And lastly, you get the amazing views here also. Yeah, really nice views. And I got to say something. You know, can I just say the view is getting less and less good the more I look at it. Yay or nay if you feel me on that. You can disagree if you want, but this is a construction site. I can see the water, sure, but this looks like uh, some sort of storage unit, something. I don't know what this thing here is. Experience in any house we've ever toured. You just noticed uh, that today too. You're not shoes. So how nice and soft. Look at this. Look at this. All of these rooms. Rooms are extremely Look comfortable. Look at this. And I'm kind of enjoying this uh, no shoes walkthroughs. Like it's really nice and comfortable actually. Yeah, it's really nice. Now, this door opens up to the bathroom. Same style of finishes. This one actually gets a little bit bigger of a vanity setup. Drop-in sink, and we have the walk-in shower here again with the chrome fixtures 
and a less spacious bathroom. Now let's go back to the hallway and go all the way to the end to check out the primary bedroom. And this, this primary bedroom- This better blow me mean. in the chat away. This primary well, bedroom here. better be something Include spectacular. Because I cannot forward. believe that we're nearly through and the entire house the and this is $50 million. Dollars. This massive pivot door opens up to the primary bedroom. Come on in. This is one of the most impressive primary bedroom suites we've ever toured in this channel. You're really lying to me. Spacious. You are lying to me. I know you're lying because I've seen you do better houses and than right this. And right in front of the king size bed, we have this seating area for you to sit down and appreciate these amazing views. Ceiling fan above. And just like the rest of the house, we have these exposed glow lamp beams here to cozy up the room. King size bed situated on this side, custom furniture throughout. I mean, this bedroom is simply amazing. Now, as we continue, we have this sliding door opening wow. up to the bathroom. Bathroom is very same spacious. fucking we bathroom have throughout the entire fucking right house with the same drop-in sink. Oh. Mirror setup above. This door opens up to the water closet. And on this side, we have the open walk-in shower, same style of tiles, chrome fixtures, two casement windows above, bringing natural light to the bathroom. Wow. And of course, right on top, right in the center, we have the waterfall uh, rain head. Now, Fleetwood glass doors open up to this private balcony just for the uh, primary bathroom. And right here, we have the freestanding tub. So when Scott was designing this bathroom, he wanted to do something very unique with his tub setup and he couldn't find what he was looking for. So he ended up building it himself. This is a black walnut freestanding tub. And That's I mean, impressive. it just looks incredible. Yeah, it's really nice. And I assume this is basically made the same way as a glue lamp, right? They stack them, bond them, and then just carve it out of a single piece. It's not piece big there. enough. Exactly. And then the sand them out, smoothed it out, and it looks just beautiful. And it stays that way. Yeah, it's really cool. Amazing. Now, last part of this bathroom, we have another a glass door here opening up to this massive walk-in closet. Ton of cabinetry. We have some open shelving here. More of these smaller windows above bring in natural light and more built-ins, drawers, hangers, everything you need. It's a good size. Where's the spice? Closet. And lastly, where is the life? Right where is the fun? Opening where is the design? To the primary where, like, these amazing views. Where is so anything in this house, man? Now, let's take the stairs and go down to the lower level. Check out the media room and the staff quarters. Oh my god, my house unironically looks better than this. Yeah. Hey. Alright everyone, now let's go check out the lower level. Yeah, I, I got 50 million dollars and I'm a fucking moron. Yeah. yeah nice and reveal details on each side, making the staircase look a little bit more spacious. Now, this door opens up to a spacious laundry room with two washers and two dryers. And as we follow this hallway, God wasn't we expecting anything here, nice. Opening up to the last bedroom. This bedroom is also very spacious. We Ryan, thanks for right subbing here, for seven months. Shower, bloating vanity. Oh, another bathroom. Right wow. Side, oh my God. Built in closets. Wow. And as we continue, door opens up to the bedroom. This bedroom can be utilized as staff quarters because it has its own exterior access that opens up to the lower deck. It's a good size room and has its own AC unit right above us. $50 million to wake up and stare at an AC unit on my fucking roof. Not even ducted air conditioning. As we it go should be made out of gold. And every day I wake up, I, I swear panties should fall from the roof onto my face. Back, the last panties. room we have on this level is the media room. Every morning. And it starts right here. We have the sliding glass door opening up to the space. From only women with the greatest pH levels I've ever sniffed. Carpet floors. Those only the on best pH levels. Fridge, some open shelving. And we have the seating area right here. TV's positioned on this side. Man, and this whole this fucking room, room should be burnt to the, the ground. Up to the wraparound deck on the lower level. We have more That's space the right house? here. Another set of...
looks beautiful with um, crisp, warm lighting. Any truce looks lovely at night with crisp, warm lighting. Looks lovely at night. Outdoor area looks really nice at night. You, you can't get away from this, this walling here though. Or that it looks like a dirt house that I built in Minecraft on my first night to survive. I've got my little fucking, my, my little brick pond. All right, everyone. It's That's trash. It this tour. We're I'm really sorry. We're spending the whole day here looking at these amazing views and getting a chance to tour this phenomenal property. This home was designed and built by Scott Gillen, who puts craftsmanship and attention to detail above everything else. And it was very apparent to me as we toured this home today. Stop lying for that, to you. I really Stop. want to thank Scott Gillen for allowing us a tour of his amazing Gillen. home. Scott I Gillen. I want to congratulate his team for pulling off this incredible project. No. And I want to thank each and every one of you for making it till the end of this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did. Here we go. You ready? You ready? Scott's like, Stop Gillen. Scotty boy's like, we'll make it look like a hospital. <gasps> you know in the walk-in walk wardrobe? We'll make everything white. White everywhere. White walls, white wardrobes. Yeah. Oh my God, you know what we'll do in the bathroom, right? We'll make it look like a cheap hotel. Oh my God, now that's attention to detail. Oh my goodness, this is gonna be great. Make sure. To and in the main bedroom, I hate the, hated the positioning of the walls for the bed. Did anyone else pick up on that or no? You see this position of this, this is ugly. I'm sorry, I don't, I can't explain to you why, but it's not nice. This, with this, with this, with this, the way the room is zip, zip. You see what I'm saying? It's It's ugly, it's not nice. I don't know why, I hate the bed position. It's, it's not feng shui. It's got no feng and it's got no shui and I'm not bringing bay over any day, no. She's sleeping in the guest house. She's not allowed to see my house looking like this. Hell no. King size bed situated on this I don't like side. it. Custom negative energies. I, mean I do not claim any negative energy from this video. None of it. I claim no negative energies from this fucking house. Inside a $34 million fu uh, futuristic house in Hollywood with a retractable roof. Let's see it. So that was a $50 million house. You're about to see a 34. Let's see which one's better. This one's better. What's up everybody? It's Ennis here. Welcome yeah, to this another one's better. episode. This week we're in the famed birth streets of Hollywood Hills. This one's about better already. This newly constructed sunny contemporary home. This home was built by Dugali Oberfeld, designed by Zoltan Pally. It gets amazing views of the city and it has phenomenal architecture. So I'm really excited for today's episode. Now, right. specs of this home. We got six bedrooms eight bathrooms, 11,583 square feet of interior space, built on a 25,440 square foot lot, and this property is currently on the market for $34 million. As always, we will leave Where's more information wallet? about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank the listing agents, Mauricio Umansky, James Harris, and David Parnes for allowing us a tour their amazing listing. Now let's begin. Love the suit, my man. Love all black suits. Who's with me, chat? My guy looking fresh, love it. I'm gonna go buy an all black suit, I reckon, chat. Okay, okay. Ooh. From the street level, we have the gate opening up to this driveway that leads us to the covered carport. The lower floor of this home is built out of board from concrete walls. You can actually see the holes for the steel rods. And as we go this way, we have the mechanic room on the left, two doors that opens up to the storage, and this door actually opens up to the lower level of this home. And another detail I would like to point out, and this door... actually opens up to the lower level of this home. 
And another detail I would like to point out are these recessed areas where we have the plate covers and the outlets. I just thought that was a cool detail. Now, before we take the stairs and talk about the entry, I want to go back here and talk about the exterior architecture of this home. We have the board form concrete walls on the subterranean level, and the second floor consists of these bronze slats that wraps around the entire property. We have this cantilever design, which we're gonna to tour on the backyard. Overall, it's a beautiful contemporary architecture. And as we come up these stairs, we have these steel case planters on this side, another staircase taking you to the backyard from I this point. I love that point. staircase. Dude, but when I'm drunk, dude, man, imagine me going up and down those bloody steps. Hang on, where's the railing, dude? I need a railing at all times. And the house is nicely separated from the street level with these board from concrete walls. Now, we're at the entry. We have a secondary gate here. And this walkway takes you to the main entry. As you come up here, we have a water feature on the right-hand side. Thanks for all the follows, chat. Welcome on in, everyone. Bye. Are leading you towards the entry. Before I go in, this is really unique. They have a secondary door right here that closes off this entry and the main pivot door right here. <laughs> that looks Air broken. Right Before watch I go you pull in, it out. This watch this. Are you ready? Watch, 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 watch. Watch you pull it out. You can't pull it out. Ready? Watch. This is really unique. Watch. They have a Look, secondary there, door Lord. right here <laughs> that closes <laughs> off this entry and yeah. the main pivot door right here. WD-40 will fix that up. All right, everyone. Here we are at the entry. I really like the glass slit that this pivot door has. And as soon as you walk in, you see amazing views and this glass walkway that takes you to the lower mm. level. But before we talk about that, why don't we go to the right first and check out the first room, which is the office. We have the built-in bookshelves on our right hand side. Wow, that, That's whoa, a lot right is here. happening. This is a front facing room. Massive picture window here, looking towards the downtown Los Angeles views. And to match the exterior cloud, they have the bronze screens also here. Now, Mikey, can we get a close up? There's a really unique detail I would like to point out. So we have this glass door opening up to the back side of the so property the side where way we have of the house. skylights running the entire length of this property. And we're gonna show where these skylights are bringing natural light once we go down to the lower level. Now, let's go back out to the hallway and go to the other side. This hallway. Because this hallway takes us to the powder room for this floor. Beautiful marble floors, and they use the same marble to climb nice the Nice bathroom. Wall. I love the underlining. Really the design here That's lovely. The marble vessel sink. It looks gorgeous. We also have chrome wall fixtures and another sliding glass door opening up to the back of the property. I really want to now, have a poo in there. Let's that would be nice. Let's go back to the atrium be about entry and talk about 7 this out of massive 10 poo. opening. They use frosted glass, which allows natural light from the skylight above us to go down to the lower level as well. And they use steel to pretty much frame this entire staircase and this massive I was massive about to open. say it shouldn't be frosted gra glass, right? But then I realized that if it was see-through glass, what happens if someone's wearing a skirt or dress? <laughs> right here. And we have more of these openings with these sky bridges. Wait, uh, think of other people's needs, dude. Jesus well. Christ, man. This sky bridge here, connects to the guest suite. I hate that the other one to the primary bedroom. Glass now, look, what's so cool and unique about this home is right above us. This is a 60 foot retractable, dimmable skylight, which is amazing. Del, can we hit it? This is the really, really special feature of this home. Absolutely. This is a truly vented atrium. That is pretty and fucking cool. Pulling off a detail that is like crazy. this crazy. is definitely not easy. Big congrats that to is the some, architect and the Yeah, developer. I was about to say, that's some On pretty cool architecture. On a residential project, this is incredible. Now it allows so much natural light and uh, you know fresh air to come into this property. Yeah, it's really cool. Also, I heard you say this, but I feel like we need to mention it. It's actually dimmable. So yes. around the corner from me, there's a little switch, uh, and you can actually change the intensity of the glass. So right now you see it's very blue. Um, can you I can turn it down, and it will get... Uh, basically, that blueness will vanish, and all this natural light will come in. Right now it's like on its highest intensity setting, so it's dimming all that light coming. I'll tell you one thing though, chat, about this, right? In this room, I have a skylight, yeah? And in, in my house here, there's skylights everywhere. And when you're buying a house, skylights are kind of shitty, dude. And I'll tell you why. Sometimes when you want to watch a movie or want, you want to chill or you want to have a certain lighting in your home, you can't control it at all. So get like a retractable skylight, something that completely blacks it out, you know? That would be cool. But you see this, this blue? Say you just want to chill on your couch. You know those days where you just want to cut off from all the world, but you want to chill in your lounge room, you want to relax? 
So you get the the blinds and you just close them all off. It's nice and dim, nice and relaxed. Yeah, you, you ain't having that in this house. It's really cool. I know. I feel like we've been it's here too for much a while, sometimes, but like the yeah. skylight assembly, you know, how to The philosophy this, how to of skylights is that when challenge. you're awake, uh, like you wake um, up with, I mean, the, with the sun, it you know? Yeah, for sure. All right, now yeah. the first sky bridge takes nah. us to the first guest suite on this level. It's very spacious. Same glass doors that we saw in the office. Nice little room. It's also here, again, opening up to the back of the property. Looks very creamy. And right around nice. the corner, we have a full bathroom with a walk-in shower. Now, let's You know what go I'm going to say about the bathroom. I'm not going to say it. Before we continue this way, I want to take you guys to the family room. Oak panel walls on this side, built-in bookshelf, TV setup right here, this amazing corner glass detail from your couch. You look at downtown Los Angeles and Hollywood. Look at downtown Los Angeles, bro. I can see my neighbor. Yo, John. Hills, that's actually Sunset Plaza Drive right there. Amazing, amazing open space. And we have walls Yo, of glass right here, looking towards the entire city and the backyard. Couple of things I would like to mention here. So we have these steel columns that are throughout this level of the home and they are 20 feet apart from each other. So each one of these openings are 20 feet and we have these glass doors again stacking on each side, kind of opening this floor to the backyard. Amazing views. And as we continue the family room, we have the main kitchen right here. Darker tone cabinets complemented with the natural stone countertops. We have this massive island design right here with the bar seating. This kitchen is very sleek. And as we go in, we have the paneled fridge and freezer here. More cabinets on the island. Mikey, can we get a close up? We have the first dishwasher right here with a little bit of a push. There you go. It's Gaginau. Main sink. You get amazing, amazing views from your kitchen. And as we continue, more base cabinets. Seam natural stone used as a backsplash. Induction cooked up. And they actually left the uh, top of the cabinets open. So it's not actually going all the way up to the ceiling to allow natural light to travel through the entire room. More cabinets. We have the built-in appliances here. This is a cool detail. Dumb waiter that actually goes down to the lower level where we have the secondary kitchen for this house. That kitchen is just as impressive as this one. And lastly, Mikey, can we get a close up? I hate secondary kitchens. These Everyone knows what I'm going to say about polyform that. Polyform I hate secondary drawers, kitchens. I hate dressed. them. This is amazing, right? I love a uh, well-organized drawer. I mean, I love it. I love it. Overall, very sleek kitchen design. And kitchen is kind of separated from the dining area with this built-in kind of uh, open shelving. And right in front of us, we have the dining area. It is situated between the formal living room area and the kitchen, table for eight, beautiful chandelier the, the, above. Uh, I'm confused there, as to whether or not I like it or don't like now, it. Before we go to the formal living room area, why don't we take the second sky bridge and check out the primary bedroom suite. And it starts right here. This door opens up to this hallway that takes you to the bedroom. Room gets a ton of natural light. We have the king size bed situated on this side. Beautiful hardwood floors complemented with this, this is a nice panel room. back wall. And right here, we have the floor to ceiling glass doors. Love that there's some that structure in the wall. You know what I mean, Chad? And they also have automatic This one is $34 million. Dollars. Well. And they open up to this patio space on the side of the property. Recessed in bookshelf right here with LED like lighting. And there's nice. one more detail here I would like to talk about. There's actually two nice. more now that I'm looking towards the views as well. Number one, from your bed, you get amazing views of the hills, city, all the way to the ocean. And second detail is when I had a chance to talk to the architect. That's not true because when I'm laying on my bed, I'm not going to be able to see the view. I'm going to see the sky here. So it's not completely city, true. City, all the way to the ocean. And second detail is when it's I have little things that you have to listen to like when I people are talking earlier, about a home. Can I get an amen in the chat for that? You should wall. really listen to that what they're saying, chat. I don't really experience that view entry or exit from my bed. Well. It makes I'll experience it if I spacious. stand up and walk onto and the instead porch. Instead of sure, having a door jam and kind of a door using here, that language is a bit puts another dangerous. You know. There you go. Now this door opens up to the primary bathroom. Nice. This bathroom is yep. simply stunning. Love it. We have double That's vanities, a nice bathroom. Finally closets, some texture on the beautiful wall. Beautiful walk-in shower. Love Same that. Walk-in shower. Love here. it. Love this right little side, section this here in the middle. Doors opening up to the back of the love property. Love it. Oh, I love this. And yeah, that's nice. Right here. Finally a bit Loading more like design, of a ready wood, you know, on there. Tops, beautiful marble back wall. Love the marble. Thank you. Let's get a close up here. First water closet. Oh, I'd love to poo in there. Beautifully clad with marble. It's book matched also. And check this out. Same marble actually continues into the walk-in shower. Again, it's book matched. The marble right is in really center, nice. Also on the floors. Never seen this detail before. Look at the drain lines. They're super sleek and they kind of have this 
triangle design as well. I feel like we're used to seeing those square ones. So that's unique because there's actually a lot of these triangle patterns in this house. Talking about patterns, take a look at this shampoonage. How they carved in all those uh, triangle designs Ooh. with a CNC machine. But what's so amazing about this design is they left the veins untouched. They also have these LED lighting that highlights these patterns a little bit Ooh. more. And right above us, two rain heads. Hand Love how big that shower Beautiful head is. You with me, chat? Bringing natural light to this walk-in shower. I mean, simply, simply stunning. Now, again, again, the skylight thing, chat. Say, say you're having sad boy hours, but it's during the day. That, that skylight there, it's gonna fuck up your whole mood. Mikey, let's get out because there's two I'm telling more things you. I would like to show to you. You don't think about Number these one, things, but it happens. Trust me, I live in a house with here. one, Just two, like three. Side. Beautiful total four, toilet. Four skylights in my house. Fancy one, of course. And man, it Marble can be annoying. Walls. Do you see the patterns also on these little uh, shelves as well? More yeah, triangles. Really nice. Wow. There's one more place. Let's get out. Second vanities on the side. It's two toilets same on design. either side. Now let's get a close up to this marble as well. They did the same pattern also here. How cool is that? Yeah, very uh, cool. It's kind of hard to see on my camera, but they are definitely there. Yeah, it's definitely a unique detail. Now, as we go through this opening, we have the primary closet here. Before we go in there. These door gems are also nicely clad with Ooh. the same bronze slats that we saw on the exterior of the home, tying the overall architecture. I wanted to mention that as well before we tour the closet. Ooh. Now this closet is amazing. Again, Ooh. all polyform cabinets, LED Oh, I love the makeup the area Mikey, in the closet. Wow, that's nice. Oh, just each one of these are. Uh huh. Doors. I mean, the quality of the cabinetry is. Yeah, the cabinetry amazing. in here is lovely. It wraps yep. around the entire room. Massive skylight right in the center. And they have this detail throughout, you know, a couple places in the house as well. See how the blue ruins the mood of this room during the day, though? These Do you see what I'm the, the point I'm trying to make, chat? That cove lighting detail. And yeah, but the colliding detail is not always the best. Up right here, very spacious, and you get a makeup area. I can see side. the reflections now, of the blue let's go on back his face. To the hallway and toward the formal living room area. And this room is all about the amazing views. We have the seating area right in the center. Smashing Walls said, uh, I think it makes it. I like the skylight. I like Number the skylight, one, but it should be retractable. The line on these limestone. I should be able to actually hits these have steel press a remote control right thing, thing and it so covers it. are pretty much perfectly proportioned throughout the entire level. Second detail, these steel columns look amazing because they grinded all the imperfections. They put bondo, they sand it, and they paint it. So it looks this perfect. I wanted to mention that. Exactly, now, very smashing, exactly. Seating area, again, focus towards amazing views. Ceilings have these track lights that are recessed in. Beautiful flat plane roof line. And now, let's go check out the outside. So we have these steel glass doors. I'm gonna open this section Ooh. only. And these are, like I mentioned earlier, 20 foot openings. Big, nice, heavy, Another sturdy, detail I really quality like is doors. The bronze finish on these doors. Oh, I love that I it retracts like all the way. The aluminum or black trim. Nice. Because we have bronze cladding throughout, glass doors also match that, so I wanted to point that out. I like now, bronze. Same limestone floors are actually brought to the exterior, but they have different finish. They have this scrapey finish. I like the scrapey and limestone finish. And let's talk about this overhang design, the cantilever. It's a really it's unique architectural cantilever. detail of this home. Cantilever. And they accomplish this look by using a lot of steel columns and steel beams. That pool you guys can is immaculate. You can see beams on the inside. It's definitely a unique detail that sets this home apart from the rest of the moderns that we have seen. So I wanted to mention that. And as we continue, outdoor dining area, amazing, amazing views. On the left-hand side, we see downtown Los Angeles, this whole city, all the way to the ocean. I mean, it's amazing. We're at the Burr Streets. Now, let's talk about this 106 foot above ground infinity edge pool. This pool is stunning. They clad the exterior of the pool with this black tile and we have black plaster on the inside. Love the spa here. So it here. looks like a sheet of glass almost. Love the seating right the area center, here as well. We Very have nice. The spa. I don't know if you guys can see it, but spa is about an inch taller than the rest of the pool. They designed it that way. So there's a little bit of a heat separation between the spa and the rest of the pool. Like that. Baja shelf over here with some seating, infinity edge on the other side. I mean, it's simply stunning. Michael, let's walk to the other side. Also between the house and the infinity edge pool, we kind of have this astro turf section. 
They utilize the lot extremely well by pushing the pool to the left, kind of leaving this flat section in the middle and having the house on the back. Also, Ooh. outdoor patio continues. We kind of have this lower section right here. Oh, I like that. This is actually a fire pit. From here, you can enjoy the amazing Ooh. views as well. I mean, Mikey, what do you think? This pool, this backyard, the views, this amazing cantilever design. There, I feel like there's so much to talk about this home. It's, uh, it's pretty amazing. It's been a long time since we've been up in the hills, especially the bird streets, over a year. And uh, I feel like this is just such an iconic design. It's uh, really talked about right now in LA. And I'm I love that this guy talks to the cameraman. You know what I mean? I, I like this real estate agent. He's a little bit more. Really glad real. we got the chance to come up here and tour. It's so nice. Absolutely. It, it is absolutely. his job to sell the house. Chat, good point. So he's not going to highlight the, the negatives. And Bursies is like, like Tuesday, will, Hollywood you know Hills. what I mean? But it's I like this real estate agent. We have white streets, utilities are buried underground. He's also educated you get in amazing, amazing views. There's like an architectural committee. Material it's one and of things like that I've noticed. Whereas some other real estate now, agents I've seen, they're continue. just like, nice wood. You know what I mean? I'm kind of like, yeah, it is nice wood, isn't it? Can you name the wood? You know, I feel like real estate agents should be able to name the materials and by let's just take looking the stairs at them. Here, and this opens up to the side yeah, of the like property. Yeah, like that guy who's like world class, That's world class. The primary so bedroom suite. What that about we just it's world class? And while we are here, there's one more detail I want to talk about. This might be hard to understand from this angle, but the outline of this home is in the shape of a bird. Architect wanted to go this direction because we're on the burst sheets. And if you guys look at the overhang design or the edges of the home, it actually kicks out and the center. Do you guys see a bird? Chat, y'all see a bird? And I don't see that. It's the sign of a bird. Of the home where we had the atrium is actually pushed in. Again, this is the core of the bird. And I'm the blind, right and left so yeah. side are the wings of the bird. So. I wanted to mention that because I thought this was such a cool deal. <coughs> With that, we're pretty much done on the top floor. Now let's go downstairs and check out all the rooms. Sorry, I got something stuck in my throat. It wasn't that funny. It wasn't, I was just coughing. <laughs> Now, we have a beautiful steel frame all Ooh. around. It has glass for the landing of the Ooh. really cool design. A bit more shelves. The prior also brought in right here. But he is blah, 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 blah. So, we have drains around. Bro, what, what is this? Is this for dead bodies? To drain dead bodies? What is this? This reminds me of like uh, a mortician's tool, you know? Jesus Christ, man. Where's the master bedroom? Is this the master? No, let's go gym, spa. Kitchen and laundry room, don't care. You're not gonna show you the main bedroom? House tour at dusk. Beautiful lighting, wow. Wow. I wanna lay down on that couch. Alright everyone, that's it for the tour. In summary, this property has stunning Man, you are glowing, bro! All the wood. You look so good! You look so good! A 110 million dollar ranch in California. Good God. Touring a 28 million dollar apartment. What's up everyone? in the thinnest in New York City. Anyone from Buddy, New York in the chat? It's here. Welcome to another episode. We're here in Central Park, taking a little walk, enjoying this incredible city. Today's tour is very special because we're going to be touring the skyscraper right behind me. This is 111 West 57, the most slender skyscraper in the world. It's 1,428 feet tall, making it the second tallest residential building in the Western Hemisphere. Today we'll be touring the 43rd floor unit that gets some of the best views of Central Park and the whole city. Specs on this unit, we got three bedrooms, 
three and a half bathrooms, 4,492 square feet of interior space with an asking price of $28,750,000. 28 million As always, we will bedrooms. leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we start our tour, I want to thank Amy Williamson, who is the director of sales for this building, for allowing us to tour her amazing listing. Yeah, boys, what's now, up? Let's begin. <laughs> All right, everyone, here we are at the entry gallery. A little bit of information about this building. We got 46 residences that are either full floor, duplexes, or on the 72nd floor, we have a triplex penthouse. Now we're at the 43rd floor and at the entry hallway, we have two private elevators coming up so you don't have to share your floor with someone else. Beautiful stone cool. floors, plaster walls, and Beautiful. on the left wing, we have three bedroom suites, and on the right wing, we have all the common areas. So let's go this way. We have these nine foot doors opening up to the living room, dining room, and kitchen. Mikey, let's get a close up on this door handle. It actually has the outline of the building, which is really neat. Wow. Yeah, I uh, saw a bigger version of these down in the lobby and they were really, really nice. Great. Now, as soon as you walk in, you're head, head on with the incredible views of the Central Park. We have 14 foot high ceilings here. The views what are do you reckon, unbelievable. Chat? Before we cover this section, I want to go this cool way. Cool lame, we what do you reckon? We have plaster walls also here beautiful oak hardwood floors with this Love really unique flooring. pattern that gives a lot of is, character is to the space. And the you have the dining area here, but before That's we nice do flooring. that, let's go this way. The hardwood floors. This is where we have the wet bar. We get a wine rack here. Nice little wet bar, Small yeah, fridge. that's nice. Oh, I love this cabinet here, Wine fridge on this nice. side, there you go. And Not worth marble countertops mil. with this lip design right here. And they use the same countertops to fabricate this shallow uh, sink design right here. Also, beautiful upper cabinetry with ah, this curved gotcha, Jordy, glass yeah. detail. These glass panels are made in London, and I was told that the reason they have the curvature is so you can see Man, what's in the cabinet from all angles. Now, we come in here, we have the dining area, beautiful chandeliers above, table for eight, and I want to take you guys to this corner real quick. The way this building is built, it has a right. massive concrete core in the center, which allows the building to kind of have less columns throughout the whole place. Also, this unit gets a 50 feet frontage of Central Park, which is amazing. Now let's go to the living room area. I wish right anybody the with me area, chat. This is where we have you the living room bars again. Here? These are the nine foot Especially doors. Especially like maybe just here if they could like get rid of those bars. I don't think they can, but that opens kind up of from the gallery, it for 28 million, very like that, spacious, that view and it's all Central about the views. Park there. Also, this building is still under construction. I, I think so that have beam here is for construction, it'll go away, but even this thing from... Great elevator right in front of us. I mean, the views are incredible. You can see from Columbus Circle, Hudson River, New Jersey, all the way to Central Park and even Harlem, which is amazing. Now, this living room area continues, and as we wrap around, this is Where's where we TV? have the kitchen. Also, I want to show this real quick. Also, we have these beautiful uh, door handles also here. This is where you have your exit access, extra storage, service hallway. It's now, pretty ugly. let's talk about this beautiful kitchen design. First off, we have the incredible is nice. island Small, up front quaint, with the quartz cute, countertop. Nice design. With this lip design on this side, also extends out as a bar seating. Of course, it's also book matched with a waterfall edge. We have this it's upper a, cabinetry it's above. It's a lovely kitchen. And a nice way to put some LED lighting underneath you know, Chai, that also a, serves as a panel really lighting for the bar seating. the kitchen at the moment. As we wrap around, <coughs> this is where we have the built-in Gaggenau fridge. Mikey, let's get a close-up. So when I was doing research specifically about this setup, I learned that the doors are also staying cool in this refrigerator. And Ooh. instead of plastic shelves, mm. they have metal shelves. Oh, so I like that. stays really cool. Now, That's really cool. Nice right fridge. behind the fridge, we have all these. See, I love that he does little research like that. Microwave you know? and this beautiful espresso maker. Feel me, chat. Let's wrap around. We have the island set up here. Now we're on the other side. Let's get a close up, Mikey. You push. There you go. You have the dishwasher right here. Winter Your princess. Island setup, Thank stainless you for the sub. Thank you for today, chat. Just Thank like you, man. Bar. There you go. You Appreciate have the curved that, glass also here. Looks gorgeous. Now 
Right behind us, we have the gas stove, again, Gaggenau, oven set up on the bottom. Of course, we have the pot filler, same quartzite countertops are also brought in here with this beautiful lip design, also used as a backsplash as well. And look at the curvature on the cabinetry here. The cabinetry kind of resembles the facade of the building on east and west sides. And we have the cabinetry continue, LED lighting underneath the uppers, and we get a small wine fridge here. Now, this is it Nothing for the kitchen, say, and we're nice on the kitchen. other corner of this unit. We had the dining room nice on kitchen. the other side. Same hardwood floors continue. We have the seamless nice AC kitchen. diffusers on the floor. And again, views are incredible. We're on the 43rd floor. And what's nice about this view is that they are high be, enough the, to clear so, all Somebody the asked about these doorknobs. I wonder if you'll do it. They might be those slight opening um, uh, uh, windows so you can just get a slight breeze in. Buildings, but we're also close enough that we can actually see the people in the park. Oh, it's so also you feel in case connected to the park, which is gotcha, amazing. Gotcha. Another detail uh, a lot of you may not know this every single room in Manhattan needs to have a fresh air supply. And as you guys can see, these glass panels are huge, it would be hard to open them. Also, there's a liability and the security reason they don't want these glass panels swing open. But in case you need some fresh air, there you go, Mikey. Let's get a close up on this. Uh, reading right here as well. Right now it says closed, right? There you go. Now that's how you get some fresh air. Whew, it's a little bit tall. I know, it's it's scary to look down. Yeah. Uh, and when you close oh, up, sorry. again, we have that reading. Going all the way to the end. Ah, yeah. The fresh air of Manhattan. Ah. Car fumes. There you go. We're gonna see this detail throughout the bedrooms as well. Well, that wraps our tour for this side. Uh, again, yeah, this yeah, space yeah. is all about the incredible views from your kitchen, from your living room area, dining room. You get to enjoy. I gotta close which the window amazing. before I record because New York don't know how to be gallery. quiet. Now let's go Burn. to the other side. Whoa, 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 and whoa. before we go through these double doors to tour all the bedrooms, we're gonna take a look at this room right here, which is the powder room. We have onyx floors, onyx veins cutting on the walls, and Mikey, let's get a close up on that yeah. baseboard detail. The real ones they did a shadow molding detail using the onyx, which is amazing. Beautiful hardware. Third. Whoa. And Whoa. they also used onyx to fabricate this gorgeous I like onyx. vanity setup right here. Let me give a little information. Sierra, about onyx. thanks for the gift onyx of the Tiger. Fragile stone. It's not easy to work with, it's very soft. So, doing all these cuts, all these miters, and these lip details are not easy, but at the end, it's worth it because this vanity setup looks gorgeous. We have glass rod wall sconces on each side. Pretty small. Beautiful bronze hardware. And this mirror detail continues all the way to the ceiling, which is really cool. <laughs> yeah, I like that a lot. That's nice. Now, let's go back to the hallway. These double doors open up. And we're going to go this way first. This is where we have the stacked washer and dryer. And then the hallway closet. We show this on the kitchen side. Little access right here to the stairs. And extra Emergency storage. Access and all that to the stairs. Now, mm. this is where we have the first bedroom. All the bedrooms in this unit are south facing. They get ton of natural light, 12 foot high ceilings. Tiny. This one is very spacious. We have the bed situated on this side. And Mikey, let's get a close up here. Number one, we have the same window ventilation detail on this side. Beautiful, seamless AC diffusers on the floor. And from here, you get totally different view, but you're right in the center of Manhattan. Cool view. You perfectly cool frame the city. And of course, we have the iconic buildings like top of the Chrysler building from here, Empire State. Overall, you're so high up that you get to see all these amazing buildings. Great room. Now, the windows are filthy. As we go back how, to the hallway. I wonder how often they clean them. This is where we have the closet. Mikey, let's get a close up of this. Now, right behind Mikey, this is where we have the bathroom set up. Beautiful stone floors. And the same marble is also brought up to the walls as well. Again, gorgeous vanity set up on this side with marble countertops. And I love how they did this lip design here. And the curved cabinetry is also brought in here. Bronze fixtures. Also, this bathroom gets the exterior in a practical purpose. Uh, top set of this tech hardware top. The double doors open up. And there you go. We're in the bedroom. This one is currently staged as a library. Like I mentioned earlier, every single bedroom in this unit is facing the south. We pretty much get the identical views 
like the other bedroom that we just what do you scored, reckon chat but it's incredible again we are in the heart of the city and of course we have the 12 foot high ceilings also here a bit of a seating area tv mounted on this side very and as we wrap around, this is where we have the bathroom. We have stone floors. It's practically stone 29 million, million but it's 29 beautiful million. Beautiful cabinetry, natural stone. Never seen this before. I didn't know Tom Ford makes that. So, I love Tom so Ford. Of course he makes fucking soap. Same beautiful hardware. We have the glass rod. Sorry. Uh, wall sconces. Mikey, let's pan up to the ceiling for a second. They have mirror crown molding. Oh, wow. I, uh... <laughs> I love you, Tom Ford. I saw Ford. this on my second tour. Yeah, I just noticed that. Wow. I know. Making really me unique smell detail. So great. And as we walk in, same stone was also brought in here for this beautiful walk in shower. Same fixtures, hidden drains, overall gorgeous bathroom. Now, let's go back to the hallway. And these were the double doors that opens up from the gallery. Right here, this door opens up to the primary bedroom. Come on in. So they named this section as the dressing hallway. We have two closets here and the primary bathroom. Before we do that, we're gonna to tour the bedroom itself first. Very spacious. Again, we have the high ceilings here. Bed is situated on this side, south facing with the incredible views. From here, we can actually see the scaffolding on the exterior of the building. Like I mentioned earlier, building is still under construction. Overall, incredible primary bedroom, very spacious. And I mean, just imagine at night going to bed, looking at the glowing lights of Manhattan, or in the morning, you'll be able to see those. It's this thought. And just everything be this. Of course, everything is soft clothes. Check this out. This is my favorite. Shoe rack. Yeah, that's really good. I like that. So I'm curious. Uh, obviously, we mostly tour homes in LA. Uh, do you see a difference in <laughs> qualities and materials and kind of just overall building techniques between LA and New York? I do. I feel like everything is way more tightly fitted in New York, right? They make way better usage of spaces versus in you know California and Los Angeles, we have more space, we have different kind of views. But in this case, I think craftsmanship and quality for perfection is much more taught at. Yeah, so I guess that kind of also goes hand in hand with the kind of engineering and the scale of buildings like this. It's a mega structure, so every detail has to be perfect. I love the chat, don't you? I mean, the way this building has been built and the engineering challenges that they had to solve is incredible. We're gonna talk about that later in the video <coughs> as well. Now, back in the hallway, we get a little bit of a makeup or desk area here. This is closet. This house with the views, $28 uh, million you can shove up your ass. I'll give you, if I was a millionaire, I'd give you seven to $10 million for this apartment. Number two, we have the drawer set up. There you go. Every little detail is thought out. Lastly, this closet gets a window set up right here, which is facing the east. Max now, 12 to 15, room, but right other here. than that, you can shove but 20 million door up your ass. is the primary bathroom. Come on in. We have onyx floors, onyx walls. This bathroom looks stunning. And I'm gonna start with the vanity setup first, but before I do that, check this out. This may look like a mirror. It's actually a big medicine cabinet. And we have the vanity setup here. It's a they cologne perfume cabinet, dude. Vanity. We have beautiful onyx countertops with this lip design and also lip around the sinks. And check this out. So they use the same countertop also to fabricate the sink. But yeah, I, you, you know, obviously when I say that chat, I'm talking about like more the design of the house. You the know sink what I mean? A little bit Where it's location. Look, which I thought but was a, a, anyway, hear me out here, chat. If you've got millions upon millions of dollars, fuck the location. Really good idea. You know what I mean? Bronze light fixtures. I can pay for a private rock, chauffeur to take me into the city every side. day and buy an absolute a vanity ginormous setup. mansion, design it however I want, right out, out a little bit, an hour and out I'm of the city. The ceiling, we live the, the cold life, you know. With the recess and then if I need trip, to come in, I can pay nice someone to drive me in in a huge fucking fancy BMW or something. Pivot door opens up to the every water closet. Every single day. Look at this detail. So we have a floating uh, toilet set up here. The push button is also bronze, matching the hardware. It's super like cool, I can literally, right? you know, for $28 million, dollars, now, imagine what that could get you in Texas. Let's talk about the like, This is a custom design tub for this building. You'll live like an actual It has king. nickel finish with this bronze rim around it. Like you'll buy and like a opinion, castle, it just you know what I mean? You could stunning. build a castle. Also, I learned it today, nickel holds the temperature and heat a little bit better. So it's the ideal material for a freestanding tub like this. Gorgeous, same style hardware continues as a tub filler on this side and right here. This bathroom also gets a beautiful frame of Manhattan from the tub setup. Now, this pivot door opens up to the walk-in shower. Come on in. 
we have the gorgeous onyx on the floors also on the walls here what Double is this mess here design. dude we have the body sprays here six of them right we have the handheld we have the regular shower heads and of course right above you have two rain heads even the ceiling is clad with onyx and mikey i want you to come right here from your get the fuck out shower, of here talk about the, the bloody the nozzles isn't that incredible I, I can't imagine having a shower this high in the air, but uh, it's really nice to have. I know, it would be incredible. Overall, this is a stunning bathroom, and the unit itself is just incredible. We have an amazing layout, beautiful finishes, everything is so well thought out. But overall, this unit is all about the views as well, and we are back at the entry gallery. Now, these double doors, like we saw earlier, it's all about location and up, it sees Central Park, anything with a view of Central, Central Park. Park. Can and I, I get love an how they do it, especially area, something like this, room, and is going to be millions upon millions upon millions, millions upon millions upon millions of dollars, aka 28 million dollars in the city. Also, this building is the most slender skyscraper in the world, second tallest building in the Western Hemisphere, and putting this building together required some serious engineering challenges. Standing over 1,400 feet tall, this building was constructed on a site that is only 60 feet wide. As if that wasn't enough of a construction challenge. I just don't think it's worth your money, you know what I mean? Regardless. Yay or nay if you feel me, chat. I just do not think it is worth your money um, regardless, you know what I mean? $4 million home. What's up, everybody? It's and it's here welcome to another episode this week we're in the heart of west hollywood and about crazy that this if you have a really good job um if you become like a doctor or something you could afford something like this chat the tour this modern home for right behind me we got four bedrooms four and a half baths approximately 5050 square feet of interior space built on a 5849 square foot lot and this property is currently on the market for four million three hundred ninety five thousand dollars as always, we will leave more information about the property down in the description. And before we get started, I want to thank our good friend and the listing I, agent. I'm saving chat for around $2.5 million to $3 million home. That's what I'm, I've been saving all my life for. Jennifer yeah, Okovac I've, I've for allowing us saved to do an amazing listing. Now, let's begin. I'll save until I reach that, that, that point. Because remember, chat, when buying real estate, sure, the repayments on the mortgage, you know, you have to be able to afford, but it's mainly just coming up with the large sum of the deposit. Like, what is it, $800,000 for a $2.5 million home? Getting that fucking $800,000 is so fucking hard, man. It's so difficult. <laughs> The exterior we have this paved driveway if you pay only 10 percent, there's a lot of hidden fees you really do want to get up to the 25 percent um deposit area you know you really don't want to be spending uh if you can save you want to save and get as much off the mortgage as you can yeah, you, you want to go for a 20%. There's a lot of hidden fees. Taking us up to the two-car garage, and they use the same material also for the walkway as well. 20% is Over here, I want to briefly talk to about a detail. Instead of using insurance. exterior wall there sconces, you go. Yeah. they actually created this recess section right here where we have the exterior recess lights. Now, let's take the walkway. And on the side of the garage, you guys can actually see the vents ventilating the garage. We'll talk about them once we tour the garage as well. Overall, house has a really cool modern architecture. It almost looks like the second floor of this house is twisted, which Mate, is very unique and different. Never, uh, see and we have the entry right here, lol. security cameras. Yeah, I'm not there either. And a lever right <laughs> above the front door. Man, now I'm still trying through. to get there, dude. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fuck. All right, guys. But it's about trying, the entry, you know? We have a coat closet right here and this door opens up to the two car garage first home where you guys you can see those vents that I just mentioned to you guys on the outside. It depends also on your gross income, And going this way, we have I a powder room well. for this level. So if level. you earn a certain amount of money, you don't get first home buyer's grant. I'm pretty sure that's true. Um, do I still get first home buyer's grant? 
um, if uh, I earn a lot. Um, is there a way to see? The property must be valued at $1 million or less. Yeah, like, you know, open up any property fucking real estate website in Victoria. Listen, like, you know, for a, a really relevant, crazy property, you're looking at $1.5 to $3 million. With marble floors. <laughs> yeah, good luck finding a house below $1 million. That's like... Floating vanity design with a Do you know what I'm trying to say? That isn't, that isn't a pre... Fab preset house. And if you're living in again, one right now, you're very the first lucky. floor of this home. Now we have oversized lucky. tiles on the floors. And it depends how Staircase close to right the city you want to be. And let's face it, most people want to be close As well as the, the second city. floor of this house. Right across, we have the office. We have these double doors opening up. Two casement windows bringing natural light in. And we have the built-in closets on this side. I wanted to mention this because although this room is currently staged as an office, in this Sydney, is one of the four bedrooms mil? in this easy, house. Dude, easy. Now, Going around, this is where we have the bathroom, floating vanity design. Again, picture windows with built in shades, money. LED lit yeah, I live in and marble floors continue into this walk in shower. Not to mention, we have these oversized stacking tiles in the shower as well as the back wall. Now, let's go yeah. back. How you doing, to the hallway M M M And talk about this area right here where we have go the family room, yeah, right? living room. <laughs> it's all open. We have these Fleetwood glass doors stacking on the side, opening up to the backyard. Very spacious. We have the recessed lights, built-in speakers, and this section of the house is pretty much all open. We have the formal dining room area flooring, right here. Dude. Before we talk flooring, about that, man. let's cover this section. We like have the, the built-ins right yeah. here, uh, one like fridge, some extra storage, yeah. quartzite countertops, and floating shelves. And this section of the house is really complementing the living room area as well as this Very formal simple, dining room yeah. area. Beautiful live edge table, sits six people. If I could live Again, anywhere the in the world open, where I, and I, where I live, furniture Melbourne, Australia. With the mid-century influence that is really complementing this section of the home. Now, right next to it is the kitchen. Very sleek, very minimal. I love the black. The, the, the only other place I would ever think to live would probably be America, but it's just a scary place. America, like, scares me. I, and I don't mean that to be rude, but just culturally and things like that like you guys are very different than australians like americans are different than australians but when i was in america i did love the people um i didn't mind the city of la it was like kind of cool went to some cool parties some cool clubs and stuff like that but um just in general like um you know i'm just gonna say it guns for example and the culture around um, your gun laws and stuff like that. Like, I'm not going to make a comment on gun laws, you know, but as an Australian, you know, uh, it's it scares most Aussies. Yeah. Panel cabinetry this here. Very different goes really well we with live. the design of the home. Right here, we have the island. Bar seating on this side, some extra storage. And they use the same quartzite countertops here as well. Yeah, healthcare, Hook stuff like that. Well like, waterfall edge. you know, just little things. Like, I'm, I'm truly blessed to live in australia you know you, can i get a w in the chat if you know what i'm trying to say i'm not i'm not being meaningfully in, in, insultive to anyone uh at all you know it's just i'm truly blessed to live where i am australia and new zealand are the two best countries to live in the world i feel other than the fucking homes you know buying a house here sucks ass but other than that, I'm truly blessed to be Australian and to live here. Mikey, let's show all the details. Like Australia, I don't, Pop I don't. Plug. When I'm talking to people from uh, overseas, I don't even think they the truly get it. Well. You know what I mean? Just how Wolf, amazing Gasso, Australia and we have is. Events above it. Yeah. And going this it's way, very hard to portrait explain. countertops are also used here. Really cool back. It's not even national pride. It's just the picture truth. window right here. I know that sounds really sucky to say, but lines of this home. livability As here is amazing. The property, I it's realized just the detail. a beautiful Mike, country. Can you come here for a second? All so, on the coast, you know. Right in front of beautiful. each shelf, they have this nice stainless steel bracket. I the dangerous like that animals are honestly just a wives' tale. Well you know cool, what I mean? And they have the same stainless steel yeah. reveal on this side. I haven't seen a snake in years. I wanted to mention that. Of course. It's LED lit underneath the cabinetry. We have the sink right here. I want to say how often do you see a dangerous spider? Not that the often, dude. And also here in Australia, we see a dangerous spider. You know what we do to it? We do this. I win.
That's the Australian attitude, you know, like this. Ready, ready? Oh, there's a dangerous spider there. And we have another sink on this side, panel fridge, and they fur down the ceiling as well. So all the cabinets sits flush on the ceiling level as well. Built-ins, freezer drawers, secondary sink. Why do I have paper towels Another here? plug. I'll let you Again, use your imagination. What else you need? Let me ask you a question, Ennis. Yes. So right above you, you'll see the ceiling drops down about a foot from the ceiling. That's where they have the uh, vent attached to. Mm -hmm. Is there any practical purpose to this? It was because I was trying to sound like a tiger. <laughs> What did you think I was doing? So is this just to add like another kind of texture, another thing to look at in the kitchen? You guys I are think the old. they kind of wanted to add another texture, like you said, and kind of break the flatness of the ceiling. Cleaning your desk. Good, and good. it's nicely proportioned, but I don't think it serves a specific practical purpose. Okay. Lastly, some pantry space right here. Overall, beautiful kitchen. Now, TN gang, thanks for the sub, man. Course. What we do, we open them. Alarm, alarm. It's not a floating corner design, but all you have is that beam right These there. These houses are boring to watch, you know what I mean? You want to look at like the, the $50 million mega mansion, Malibu mansion. Perched high on the hillside where land meets Sunday, kind of villa inclusive presence is a It's interesting because the front Sunday today in Malibu entering through the front door. Let's actually shut this so the wind doesn't blow, blow the door open. Welcome to the main floor. It's interesting Hello. because the front of this house is very low key. New it's real estate agent design. Chat. There's a nice little walkway that leads you down with a fountain, and it takes you right into the front door. The first thing you see when you walk into this mansion is an expansive view of blue. Ooh, you just see the I Pacific Ocean right through your living room. Finally, there some are nice no walls white in this That's house. Really nice. It's just floor to ceiling glass that opens up indoor outdoor living at Oh wait, does it? Oh no, yeah, I like this that. This is the entertaining floor. Oh walking yeah, that's a in, bit different. This is the yeah, I like main that. living area. Oh, you I have love a that nice there's seating no area. Then you walk it's over just... this way towards the left. Yet again, another Ooh, seating area. I like this that fireplace too. is totally for the aesthetic. It doesn't give off heat, but it does change color. Uh, the coolest yuck. thing, okay, you walk I'm over this way, I want it to give and it they call this the James Bond office. This is the executive desk. This is the place where you do your massive deals. I mean, the person Streamer who purchases room, this Streamer place room. is going to be a billionaire. You have your big meeting, and as soon as you finish the deal, with the flick of a switch, your James Bond office opens up a hidden bar okay, with that's all the sick. top shelf liquor to have a nice celebratory toast okay, to closing the deal. Sick. Who that has this sick. in their house? And another very cool detail on that top shelf there, there are actually fossils that were unearthed when they were building this property, <laughs> meaning that the sea level at one point was where we are today, which is just about 500 feet it. in elevation. I love it. And that's I think that's really pretty cool. unique that you have a piece of this edition. land now displayed in your office. I love stuff now, leaving like that. The office, you got me, you got me. That's really cool. Into the love dining it. room area. Love it. The theme of this mansion is opulent wow, to it. the max. You have the glass table I like the glass. with seating for 12. Then along the far wall, you actually have a wine storage unit for the 300 of bottles color of wine. With the art and like I the, said, um... this place comes fully furnished. So all those bottles of wine come with this mansion. Ready to move in. You could have your dinner party tonight if you wanted, if you're watching this and you want to buy this place. This could be you. One thing I don't like about rich people chat, yay or nay if you feel this, where are the folks? I, I think they take them down for you know, like these kind of videos, but I swear to God, they still don't put them up. Where are the photos of memories? Yay or nay if you wear with me. Where are the memories? Where are my likes and dislikes? Like if I like Superman, I want to commission an artist for a really cool Superman piece, something like that, because I, I love him, you know, or something like that. Or, you know, I like golf. Like where is the interest? Where is the personality? I feel like homes these days, uh, like, show me what From you love. From the dining room, we make Show me our your way passion to the in your home. centerpiece of the I house. I should this walk into your home and get a feel We'll get to this a bit later, you are, as you can see here. Just this stairwell mm. with this incredible lighting fixture. But like I said, a bit later. For now, let's head into the kitchen. 
This kitchen is custom to the max. Case in point, right here we have a custom. I food love the station, kitchen. Ice cream night, guacamole. You oh! You can prep it right here in your very own kitchen. That we have is the really cool. Stove top, huge space that for really making cool. whatever meal you want for entertaining guests. They should change this though. This here, this gray with this gray. This should be like this, I reckon. Add some more wood finishes because this divot here with the wood, I feel like this should match this. Do you feel me, chat? The coolest thing about this kitchen. And also here should be a the that, 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 that there should be a signature wall here, signature wall. Space for Put some nice uh, you want anything for there, guests. signature wall that. The sure. coolest thing about this kitchen is this oh, window I love opens that. up entirely. I love that. So if you are living here, most likely you're not going to be washing your own dishes, but if you are, you have the most incredible. Pardon me, bro. You're not going to... What? You, you, you suddenly hit $50 million and you can't wash your own fucking dishes? Oh, is that too good? Oh, fuck. You rich people. You can, you can suck my left nut. You bastards. Incredible view of the Pacific Ocean right from your sink. This is the coolest thing I've seen in the kitchen. Making our way down this far wall here. Additional chilled wine storage. We have a dishwasher I mean, everything in, the in this kitchen. Yeah, but Baz, you and I wash out our dishes, though. You know, when, like, we'll stack, like, the dishwasher and you forget to turn it on or something, we wash our fucking dishes, bro. Don't ever put yourself down like that ever again, cuzzy. You know what I'm saying? Fuck is top dogs. of the line. This home is so magical, there's even rainbows just throughout the home. I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what's making this rainbow, but it's there. It's there, and that's a good sign. Making well, like our way back... Really. Through yeah, this kitchen even rich, deeper, we you, have bro. the chef's kitchen. So if that kitchen out there wasn't enough, if it wasn't impressive I enough, you come back this kitchens. way, you have the six burner stove top, the pot filler with this nice marble backsplash. To top this off, we even have a legitimate restaurant refrigerator. So large that you can actually go in your refrigerator. Don't lock me in here, Hannah, please. <laughs> but I've never seen that Don't in lock home. me in here, guys. Don't I think lock every me home in here. should have this is a breakfast bar. A the place where you can wake comedy. up all groggy, come and have your Just coffee a bit of my right comedy. off of the kitchen. We have the Ooh, I love that informal couch. family room. Tom I Ford! Nice I love Tom Ford. That makes this kitchen really feel like I a love home Tom Ford. where you can have the cooking, the preparing, then the relaxing right next door. Oh, I love this cabinet. So I mentioned that the first floor, the entry floor, was for entertaining. Let's right. head upstairs to the living quarters. Getting to the second floor, we have the option of taking the elevator Ooh. or going up the staircase. Let's go up the staircase. Right off of the stairwell, we enter the master wing of this Ooh. mansion and the first thing you see is blue pacific Ooh. blue as far as the eye can oh, see oh, this is the kind of bedroom where you wake view. up you walk out onto this oh my god that's and a you view feel like the king of the world you're overlooking malibu you're over billionaire's beach walking into oh the master my god, bathroom you're greeted view. with the centerpiece which is a massive soaking wow. tub Ooh. in the center of this bathroom with views of the Pacific. You have Ooh. dual floating vanities Ooh. on either love side. The, so love if you the have vanities. a home like this, you're Ooh. going to have a closet that rivals Ooh. most oh. luxury showrooms. Oh, I love the, um, you, you got to think about like the vibe, right, chat? So I love this, yeah, hear me out. The makeup vanity for your wife or girlfriend while you're getting changed in the wardrobe in the walk-in robe, you know what I mean? You gotta think about like the vibe. You see what I'm saying? So nice. Rooms That's designed cool. to show off all of your clothing items, That's your really jewelry. Cool. It is seemingly endless. Oh my God, yeah, Leaving that's a nice Leaving the master bedroom, robe. we walk down to the guest wing of the mansion, where there are not one, but three additional bedrooms. Now, two of these bedrooms are connected by this outdoor space with views of the pool and the grass down below. All three of these it's bedrooms have fully Son. customized bathrooms, and the third bedroom at the end of the hall has a view of the mountains. And additionally, on top of all the guest bedrooms at the end of the living quarters hallway, we walk out this door here to the guest house. The guest house is totally separated from the rest of the main house, meaning you have to walk outside to this nice patio area around this way. This right here is the guest home. It's complete with a nice living area, TV. It has a full kitchen, full bathroom, and one master bedroom, just for your guests. The type of place where you put the in-laws, you put the cousin from out of town that you haven't seen in 10 years, just so they're still living in I don't want to talk to him. I'm a fucking millionaire. Put him in there in a little shack out the back. Just outside of your Fuck house. Him. 
Leaving the guest house, let's head want to back to the main talk house. To him. Head down the stairs to the lower level, which is the wellness center. Every time I walk down here, I have to just stop for a second because it is so impressive. This is like Tony Stark's design studio in Iron Man. Church. Right in front of the stairs, you have this modern designed pool table. Church. Off to the right, you have a full on movie projector hanging from the ceiling. The most impressive part of this first room on the wellness floor is the bar looks like it is out of a high-end restaurant or hotel. This is the large- Finally, can I get an amen? We've heard people say, it's like a high-end bar. Finally, someone says it's from a high-end bar and it actually looks like it's from just a high-end bar. Just bar in a home I've Finally. seen in my entire life. Finally. I keep mentioning this, but this place is ready to move in right now, meaning everything that we're seeing in this room, all the staging, all the bottles of alcohol, the candles, every single thing is included in that 50 million price point. Poggers. Down this hallway, we have the indoor jacuzzi complete with skylight. I've never seen, I keep saying I've never seen this in a home because this home truly is a one of a kind. When have you ever seen a jacuzzi never. that looks like it belongs in a world-class spa in your home? Never. Across from the jacuzzi world room, class. we have the actual fitness center. Uh, currently, there's only a few treadmills in here, but pretty much you could put any gym equipment you want in this sure. room. And you know, some homes will have a massage bed and say they have a massage studio. This is a fully dedicated room with a multi-thousand dollar massage table, complete with an iPad at the bottom, so you can work, you can entertain yourself while you are getting your full body massage. Additionally, down the hallway on the wellness floor, we have the large cedar sauna, complete with the steam room. Remember that other $50 million mansion we looked at? This literally bends that over and fucks it. The entire like floor mad, like is dedicated we saw for you to come down here after dollar a long day of today, working and, and it was fully escape while geez. being at your home. The most Actually, iconic part of this shame. villa is the outdoor space overlooking the Pacific Ocean. We have all this astroturf out here. I mean, just look at this behind me. It's one of those examples where words don't even do this justice, how beautiful this property is. And this right here, you can't really put a price on. But if you could put a price on it, it'd be close to $50 million. What <laughs> Malibu mansion <laughs> wouldn't be complete without the infinity pool? <laughs> and all the way at the far end of this outdoor space, okay, we actually bastard. have the outdoor Man, kitchen, on, which is complete with a pizza oven. <gasps> Like I said, we're right above the iconic Billionaire's Beach. So instead of going down to Billionaire's Beach, we That's have our own cool. private white sand oh beach. Oh my God. Right off of our infinity pool. Okay, so you don't even dude, ever have to leave sick. the villa. That's so comment sick. down below your favorite part of this Malibu mega mansion. You handsome. Do you come with the car? Oh, you. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's Ennis here. Thank you for clicking for this video. I know it's long, but I promise you it's worth it. The property behind me is 277 St. Pierre, located in Bel Air, Los Angeles, California. It has eight bedrooms. What's Bel Air like, chat? What's Bel Air like? 36,000 square feet. How far away is Bel Air from... So this is another $50 million mansion. We'll tell, tell me which one you prefer of interior space listed for 49.9 million dollars essentially 50 million dollar property i don't say this lightly but this is one of the craziest mansions i have ever toured in my life from a bowling alley interior pools overall get to because, it again this house is 36,000 square feet so we took a lot of expensive homes but this is an estate and there's a big difference in the wording and i like this one better already i have to admit. let me just take you guys to the backyard it's got class it's got style it's got so we are at the backyard area when you buy a house at this scale you have different needs at this point you want to throw a three four five hundred people party you can this do one's that better you want to have a lot me. of guests you want privacy well you do have that as well you want to entertaining you got it so we're going to step over here into this little gazebo, which the agent tells us is kind of an entertaining space. I think it goes down into the ground. What? I guess this is kind of like a, there's different what? elevations on this so, property, exactly. right? Because the land is so big here, sort of the home is kind of the peak of the home. And as we go towards the end of the property, the land kind of slopes and everything is built accordingly. But before we do that, let's talk about the pool area for a second. So basically we just came down from the courtyard 
and we're in the pool area. I want to say probably 40 feet by maybe 15 feet. It's, it's a good size pool. It's a good size pool. Let's view. You know what well. I mean? That bus, seems like a 10 feet. This three area, deep. this side. And then as we walk around, <laughs> like, what is I this love this vibe? What is this aesthetic called? You know, stone with the inlay design pile. And Mediterranean vibe. Remember, I said entertaining, right? You're not joking. You're throwing a bar uh, barbecue like, um, party here. So you have your Italian? Here. Italian? You have your bar up here. Spanish? You bring in a bartender here so he can serve Three? cocktails to people. Tuscan? Okay, can I grab the camera for a second? It is Guys, Mafia Boss Let me show vibes, you where Mike is it? and then the view. Just check it out. Like, it's palm trees. It literally feels like a tropical hey, cameraman, oasis hi. here. <laughs> okay. It feels like, like a... Four Seasons Hotel. Mikey, take a seat. If I take a picture of you right here, it what will look like you're at a Four Seasons a Hotel vacation. <laughs> okay. I, Literally. Like the Amalfi Coast. You know? Yes. Like not, like not a, not like the Austin, Texas Four Seasons. This guy like loves names. Like He's a name of chat. He loves yeah, or like names. Hawaii. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. the real deal. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Show us in here, please. So guys, just being in front of this entertainment space looking at this house oh Remember, my this is not a house it's not a mansion this is an estate look at the scale of this home i mean it's layer after layer i see just windows I mean, it's a compound home. it's a compound it's a true compound with its full privacy you do not see anybody compound. you do not see anything it if, really is i could have taken a boss picture vibes, here and i could have been like i'm in italy everybody would bought it exactly. true so guys we just left the outdoor space and we came look to the entertainment this. Area, entertainment building, and building house on its own so we're about to find out and guys this is twice the size oh i love the arched windows the design the arched doorway yeah. here Three oh my god i love these little patio seats. section so we got we're, we're still I'm, on the level with the ground there's a yeah. little kind so, of drops off here but well, take a look at this how many levels we're gonna go down guys i don't i don't know how long this video is going to be but stick around to the end we got a lot to we got a lot to cover Definitely. we're going to hit the entertainment space here first before we even go to the, the main gazebo is a house so y'all settle in it's going to be a wild ride in this channel when we see good detail we take notice and we see a custom door with I already, arch design i already told chat about that you don't have to wood doors do you recognize this? It's important. These are recognize the important details. realness. People have always said true, that symmetry true. is beauty. Trust me, me and my and real house, estate boys in the chat know. It's very symmetrical. And ladies, okay. I'm inclusive and shit. You feel like Caesar? Okay, what's with the. Okay, dude. Okay. Yeah. You look like Caesar. <laughs> Oh, you we like, like just, that. I mean, I have my you made his day. day. You made his day. You look like just a Turkish Caesar. Turkish Caesar. I'll take Turkish Caesar. Oh my God. Wow. So guys, we just came down the stairs here. We're gonna take a look at this little bar entertainment space first. But before we do that, we have Mikey's favorite room, and it's a good one. I mean, we're at the movie theater. I like it because it's a little bit of a different approach. It's not your everyday movie theater in a mansion. They've kind of made it like a big living room that happens to have cinema, yeah. uh, vision and seating kind of. But at the same time, it's really lush and actually really cozy. It Screen. feels like a really authentic Roman theater that has been modernized, which is, I, you know, I, I just kind of made that up, but I feel like it kind of works. Also, like if you look at all the wood paneling and stuff, it's layers of oh, detail. Oh, I that. love that as Generally, well. Generally, Romans tend to have those finishes. I love the Everything, indents like the here and stuff that like that. Look at the look at the cabinets. But the truly installed, it's a combination of herringbone with the inlays. I mean, there's an incredible amount of detail just in this there's room. There's so alone. much. Indeed. All right, let's step over to this little there bar. There's so area. much detail. I love the theater flooring. over here. Look at oh, this look at this flooring space. to the they entrance to the room to the flooring the wall, change. Wine racks on the so wall. it doesn't just randomly change chat. Look at the attention to detail here. So th this like marks the change of rooms. Do you see what I'm saying? And then and then you come into a new flooring. Look at this entertaining oh space. My they got God. wine cellar on the wall or wine racks on the wall, temperature controlled. They have an amazing bar here. Yep. Nice seating area. You gotta have a piano. You gotta know how to. <gasps> There's so much to cover in this house. If we point out every wow, I like this yeah. little. I like wow. this little glass. Wow. I mean, this is type of attention to detail. They built this nice glass atrium here, with along the with the trees. Just kind of a cool addition to it. But follow me because you're about to see some cool stuff. That like really what? 
what the fuck is they were not joking when they said this is an entertainment section of this estate because you have a <laughs> they have, out there. I like how they have the black lights they have the cool tables that are lit by black lights they also have these obelisks that are kind of symbolic a little bit yeah I mean we're gonna get I, I, I've already seen some pyramids around we'll get into the details but I mean Come on, man. This is incredible. And, I mean, it keeps surprising. From the bowling alley, you peek at this oh, one there. Oh, my lord. Oh my god! I mean... Guys, my heart's racing! Stick around. This is one I'm, of the craziest I'm, mansions I, I am me and wrecked. Mikey have ever been into. I okay, am guys, wrecked. we're gonna step out of this ridiculous bowling alley. We're gonna go downstairs and take a look. You could slam a brick on my dick and the brick's gonna break. Honestly, oh my god! I think this house keeps throwing us off. But they're crazy. Can they please let me walk through homes like this, chat? And Mikey's dream. Would you watch For that? that? <laughs> me doing a real estate video like this? I would love it. All right. So guys, we're on the finally oh we managed God. to get to the bottom level. Another entertainment area, ping pong. I would love to review uh, this pool. house. Pool. Shuffleboard. And we have a shuffleboard. And we have another grand entrance that the stairs Oh my through. God, entrance I mean, on entrance. Keeps going. Details keep going. Amazing, amazing space. What can I say? Is that a bedroom there as well? So guys, on the left-hand side of the staircase, we just yeah. came into another guest quarters. This is where you have a guest that what? can have their own living room, own meetup area, their own bedroom and if, bathroom. If, if you have a really special... If room. Barack Obama is staying at your house for the weekend. <laughs> exactly. That's where he comes. If you have a high you know, profile CEO coming, this is where they stay. But I mean... Again, guys, this could very well qualify for like. Oh the my fucking any god! This would be what a twenty thousand dollars. Oh my god! The attention yeah, to detail with this. This unit these, alone would be like a fifteen twenty thousand dollars. Oh my apartment god! With the walling, dude. Crazy. It looks Look immaculate. The I bathtub mean, is stuff. spectacular with the I'm gold accents and the pillar there and this cabinet here that probably opens the soaps and like bath bombs. Oh, the skylight is immaculate! Oh my goodness gracious me! Yeah, touch it, feel it, kiss it, kiss the marble, kiss it, lick the marble. Imagine how much shaving they had to do to get this this smooth and install it as a door jam. I mean, that's crazy. So, main staircase of the guest house, and we are on finally the bottom level. We managed to reach it, and. As we keep going, get to the pool. Get ready for this. I'll go goosebumps. So, oh, 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 man. Would you look at it? Just look at it. This is opulent. Oh yes. my god, the spy with the pillars, the roof, and the artworks that you can have here. Oh my god, dude. Look at these pillars. Look at this. Are you looking? Are you seeing it? Look at the arch here, the archway. Oh my, look at the design inside of the pool as well. I can make a 20 Jeez. minute video talking about the details Look at here the walls, look What's at the, the walls. What's the temperature of the pool like? Let's no, sorry, the roof. That's actually somewhat chilly a little bit. Well, it's gotta be, it's indoors. Sure, but uh, okay, the where do we start? Okay. Beautiful column work. Look at the intricate tile work within the pool. I cannot imagine the amount of hours the craftsman had to spend Hand laying every single one of those to get this mural like oh, looking. This is like Hearst Castle. Look at the fucking. I mean, I feel like I'm in Four Seasons. I think we mentioned it really well. Look at the glass detail. Look at the spa wrought iron detail. How did they even get this? Did they fabricate it here? Who knows? Look, look at that detail, Mikey. Oh, it is chilly. That inside layer, the brown layer, I'm saying that's it. marble. This is all, this I'm is all like, I can it. see like a lot of like Greek influence here, you know? Very much so. And not to mention, I'm, I, I gotta be honest, they probably spent 40, 50 tons of marble alone in this house. So, and of course, one of those fountains we saw up there. Holy is a shit! Is one, is a skylight. That's a skylight.
That's so sick. That is class. That is money. That is $50 million. That's money. That's money. Money! That's money. And guys, this is what we do for a living. We tour some of the best mansions LA and world has to offer. So you wanna see more of this? You've got to subscribe to our channel because it's just cool. And if you like this video so far, make sure to give us a like. And if you have any questions, drop us a comment. Guys, another bar. You kept looking at the cameraman, Actually, like, am I doing all right? Cool stove and everything in case you wanna entertain here. Look at the details, oh. look at the details. Look, top right, bam. Look at that lion's head coming out from the pillar. Look at the carving. Look at it. Are you looking? I feel like you're not looking at it, Chet, and it's pissing me off. Are you looking at it? Do you Actually, see this it? One has, like, Do you see how the blue matches the fucking here. roof and the and bottom of the pool Guys, design? I never thought I'd apologize for like an edit taking so long to even it? get to the main Do house. Like it? But we haven't even gone inside the main house yet. Yeah, but by the way, by the way, this is not the main house. Let that settle in. For, by the way, this is the entertainment gazebo. This is a gazebo out the back of the house. Guys, stick around. This is, this is not what you see every day. You're not gonna find an intimate tool the, like this. The entrance to this building, you go through a gazebo. And then of course, you gotta have a gym. To get to here. You're not you going out to Equinox to work. You're working at your home. Yeah, you probably own Equinox if you live here. Very true. Yeah. Very likely. Yeah. I didn't thought of that. Good point. This is, this is the shed. Okay. All right, guys. We're gonna take the trek all the way up those stairs. Get back to the main house. Yeah, actually, I gotta there's go probably more to see. We haven't even been in these rooms over here yet. This is where this is where rich people put their okay, their Oh lawn my mold. god! Come over here. Uh, Mike, come here. No, you gotta come over here. Dude, you guys, see, this is crazy out there. What's over there? It's this huge giant utility room. Like, it's like a house. I got something better. Look at this. Okay. A full racquetball court. <laughs> oh, are you serious? I don't like racquetball, oh. but it's cool to have a racquetball court. Wow. <sighs> this is scary. Everyone's trying to call me like, right now. I just got a little anxiety attack. Oh, it has, oh don't forget the basketball hoop. Okay, dude. Is mine better or is yours better? No, yours is better. You just you turn won't. it into basketball when you chat. All right, guys, let's step out in the backyard. Yeah, let's exit the gazebo. So again, guys, we we just got out of the entertainment area, That's and it kind of has its own backyard. And I already know why they wanted to give us space like this because if you're specifically just entertaining in this unit, yeah, you want to have all the overflow of people here. Yeah. So in case this you want to your, keep the house separate. This is your presidential suite slash game room here. This whole place we just looked at. Don't be deceived by the size and scale of this. It's just a back house. Basically, you're having a party and President Obama wants to give a speech. He just stands right there. Yeah. It's like a mini White House. If you have like the Count of Monte Cristo over for dinner, like he can stay somewhere. Guys, I cannot imagine an hour spent custom building these wrought iron railings. I mean, I don't even want to know. Even this guy, the amount of hour it goes to inlaying a marble entrance like this, insane. That's some skilled craftsmanship right there, so. That is some skilled craftsmanship. Okay. Okay, guys, so that was it for the entertaining. So that's the main house that you're looking at right there. That, that, that you, we just got a tour um, through was the outhouse. Space. That was the now we're gonna go look at this beast right here. That's the right house here. right there, that's the house. Stick around. This is where we just were over here. This is the entertainment space. And we're kind of back at the courtyard Court area. I kind of feel like a Pablo Escobar here. Just like the tile roof, the windows everywhere, outlandish landscaping. Come I don't on, know, man. I feel fancy. That's the dining room. Guys, I don't know what you guys think, but this literally feels like a luxury hotel. It dining does. Room. This is like the SLS. Yeah, this is like SLS. So let's step, I hate the let's gloss. step over into the kitchen and see like what the they're working with in here. Wow. Guys, when I walked in here, my first reaction, wow, why wouldn't it be? Look at these amazing curved cabinetry here. God knows what they these spent. These double here. islands. Double, weird, really modern ship island. Nah. Hate the flooring. You see this white flooring with these uh, 
the etches in them. I, I, I think it's the ugliest, cheapest looking flooring in the entire world. Yeah. You see this like, uh, what would you call this? Creamy, creamy. Dan, look at the sink. Who built this thing? Creamy. Like, this you know, coffee, custom. coffee mocha. You see how this isn't really that different than this, and this is not that. Uh, you, you see, it's actually almost too matching for me. You know what I like about this kitchen too? Mm -hmm. For such a ridiculous I like house, dark. They still dark take into consideration like that a family is going to live here. What? This is where people. This is where people really spend most of their time nah, in the yuck. mornings. I hate you it. You know, you sit I here, you have breakfast, nah. Nah. you have your coffee here with Pray your wife, it. your kids. You know, maybe you watch the news. You put some music on speakers, kind of get everybody based it. on it. I hate this yeah. room. I most so ready, most, thanks, most of these mega mansions really neglect like the functional living dining space. You know? I kind of yeah. like it. It's going to sound a bit odd that the uh, ceiling heights are a little low here. It makes it kind of cozy and warm here. But I want to briefly talk about the entire kitchen. I would say it looks cold to. and unwelcoming oh, and plain. Your espresso maker, you got to have it. Your microwave. You have cabinetry everywhere, beautiful marble. Check that glass detail out. And again, this is an like illusion. This goes all the way here. Yeah. So you can put all your stuff in Look there. at these oh, refrigerators, cool. these panels. Your hydraulic cabinetry. I'm you not going to be able to reach that. Boys. I'm 5'8". Yep. Damn right. And guys, this fridge has got to be pretty big. It's 90 degrees in LA right now. I kind of want to live here. That's look at these look. look at these curved uh, drawers. There, bro. Okay. How, how tough are these to make, Ennis? These are nightmare. This is made in wherever they're producing this cabinetry in the factory. Look at that beautiful curve detail. That would be very hard to make. I love it. Um, another oven, and then of course you have a that would make very, that would be very hard to make, wouldn't it, Chad? Gas stove. Guys, look at like the commercial unit vent system that they have. Miele vents. Great. And another oven because you just cook a lot of things at once. Imagine like a Thanksgiving or Christmas dinner in this house, how yeah, that Yeah, true, true. That's okay, what guys, I'm thinking. Okay, guys, we're stepping out of this kitchen. And there's this beautiful marble hallway with another wow. living room. Wow. Into another guys, living room area. I'm gonna say this is the- With a fireplace. Wow. Very classy. Very classy. This, what does this carpet remind you of? Turkey, Ottoman. Kind Does of, it? Yeah. It kind of it kind of reminds me of uh, like Versailles, like that kind of French Very green. True. I'm, I'm pretty do you sure like the carpet? Probably like yeah, sorry, do you like the rug carpet. chat? I'm more. Uh, yeah. Beautiful marble cladding there. And like honestly, one thing that I'm so shocked as we toured this property is how cozy it feels. Yeah, it does. Wow. Dude, this is like we're in a shopping mall. Even the elevator is like super commercial. Let's go to H. Uh, wow, it says Grand 1 and Grand 2. I guess H is here maybe? Go G2. Alright guys, so we're going somewhere. I mean, <laughs> let's just face it, we don't have an idea. Who knows what we're gonna find? Who knows? Uh, and guys, we may overlook a certain detail. It's a pretty famous house, so if you do, please excuse us. We, we only, we, there's only so much time in the day. Yeah, and like, I know me and Mikey Loki are getting a little anxiety here. Can you imagine getting stuck here? I wouldn't even care, you know? Oh. What? What? How's that even? Wait, who, who <laughs> owns it? Are they getting. Is it owned by like a child? How did we get here? Is that what they were saying, Chad? Is this the elevator? I don't care about yeah. the elevator. Along with the other garages that they have, hopefully we find them because they said they have a 10 parking spot here covered. Uh, so that's that. Moving on. Stepped into the office here, and like you know, I feel out of, <laughs> How out of place. Does that? I said it once. I'll say it again. Yeah. Whatever it has. But we at this model. That's a model of the a house. Full. That's a model of the house. How fucked is that? Chat. That's the house. How way out of this that? house. Two found. This is the actual office. You're trying Those bedrooms. Exactly. I don't care about that. And we're on the second floor now. And bedrooms. Look at this crazy hallway. Shows, shows my bedrooms. Just opening up to your backyard. It's beautiful, full of lights. And we're gonna basically go into the other bedrooms. Guys, love is all we have. So, I love you guys, and if you do love me, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like. If YouTube needs it, 
Most importantly, we need it, and we appreciate your support. And even if you don't like it, I respect give us a dislike. Give us, give us a dislike, dislike you know? <laughs> well, Give us something. Yeah. Just let us know. <laughs> Just let us know. Uh, so, uh, first bedroom, uh, plain, uh, no uh, comment. Oh. Apartment. Guys, bedroom. Bedroom. This I is love the eight bedrooms, guys. But even at the I love that bedroom, bedroom. Look at that detail. It's warm today, but it is. you can't expect them to turn the air on in this place for, yeah, for a showing. For a showing. I guess the brokers open will cost them like $10,000 or something, you know? Yeah. Uh, this is actually second master. The next biggest bedroom after the master bedroom. A uh, good size. Most importantly, I like the positioning of it. Basically, guys, all that beautiful you stuff we master toured, chat, it's to right. Master. I want to see the all because I want to see the master. Every... With yeah. <laughs> All right, Here guys, we go. we're gonna we're gonna step off this uh, this uh, wing and we're gonna take a look at the master wing, which is Thank over there. You. First, let's peek in here. Uh, this this is more of a mini master, I think. I think there's multiple masters because like everybody's staying in this house. Is quite I mean, look valuable. at this look at this closet though. <clears throat> so nice. I feel like I'm like at a tailor. Yeah, like they're you know. Come on. This is probably alone. Also worth some more. These are because. They so we're in the master wing. Before we go to the actual side of the master bedroom, we have another room here. Take us to the fucking master bedroom, bro. Marble. Again, look at the actual bedroom. Remember, guys, we told you there's an actual elevator that goes straight into the master. The only way to go key card. You have to have your key card. That's right. You what? You don't have access. And then the majestic doors right here. What? Little bar area on your Ooh, left. I love this. They don't actually have a mattress here right now, but you can imagine if they did. Yeah, you sure can. I mean, look at this uh, light fixture on top of us. Beautifully four-sided book max, marble on the gas fireplace, built-in TV. That can't be easy to float, can it? No. How did they put all the design into the gazebo house and then the main house? It looks like it was designed by a toddler. I mean, what just, is that just blue to get this bed? installed here, Who put that blue nightmare. bed down. How much, how much do you think just this piece costs? would match any marble? of this. The marble the, the, and the, the construction. Place, construction, everything, the blue that's a $50,000 piece right there. Easy. I hate and the guys, blue. Every once in a while, you want to check out your kingdom? Yeah, don't forget, like, out here, everything the light touches is yours. <laughs> but kidding aside, um, you know, it's really important in my opinion, when you buy a seat like this, that from your master bedroom, when you wake up in the morning, you want to just take a look. You want to take a look at what you invested in, what you bought, and what a great place. That's the entrance for the entertainment area. That goes four levels down, runs all the way till here to meet that elevator. You all might remember the skylight that was above the fountain. That fountain's right there. Let's uh, let's wrap up this this master bath so we can get you all on your way. Master bathroom, one side. Look at that tub. Wow. Look, at, look, at, look, at, look at the fixtures. I was gonna say. Look at the detail that is built into that handle. That's cool. So this is the first side of the bathroom. Beautiful shower, inverter system. She's gonna love it. Check this out. Toilet, I'm sure, opens automatically. Yeah. You know, learn that These things always scare me. And then a beautiful closet space that looks like a luxury designer storefront. This looks like a small scale Gucci store right here. Yeah. Um, and get Pardon? What did you just say? Designer storefront. This looks like a small scale Gucci store right here. No, it doesn't. Yeah. Um, and guys, as we tour these no, properties, doesn't. you're probably blown away by scale. If you have any construction questions, it, it comes to how much it takes you mean to the, the these, closet they have out in the, the back. comment section below. You mean the, it looks how like cool a this? Gucci store closet? Have you been wow. in a Gucci store? I haven't. I peeked through the windows. It's pretty, fucked. Pretty awesome. Loki, me and my kids were afraid the whole time that we may break something here. Yeah. So we haven't so far. It's good. Ennis has a bad habit of opening shower do doors and, and all, <laughs> almost really bad. <laughs> so I mean, we haven't let Ennis touch any shower doors since we've been here. I have buy nothing. 15 Gucci. minutes of me just almost breaking things. So soon we'll drop an edit of just me being an idiot. Let's step over to his side. Yeah. Mikey just mentioned that. Oh wait, was that his and her sides? Music here is. Uh, oh. Sounds like Blade. Yeah, like oh I my can see God. Wesley, Wesley Snipes just killing some vampires to this, you know? That's his and hers side. 
stop with the memes. Very cool. And his side closet, built in safe. Because, you know, it's too you small. Wanna, it's too small. Some cash. Let's uh, let's step out to the front real quick. I wasn't Take really a look at that motor court. The bedrooms chat. You get a beautiful motor court to get people in and out. It's a great space. It's definitely private, but most importantly, I think these trees are at least more than 100 years old. Oh and it doesn't God, really come tree. out on camera. Will you hug one of these trees to show how I'll big it is? To hug. Guys, these trees are absolutely massive. Yeah, bro, I've seen it. Meanwhile, tree, man. these luxury real estate agents are probably inside, like, who are these idiots out here hugging trees? Yeah, <laughs> they probably look weird. All right, guys, you so do. we just finished this absolutely incredible house. You do look if y'all made weird. it to the end of this edit, then good for you. I mean, we appreciate the support. And not even that, but like, y'all just, like, I'm, I'm blown away. Um,. It was a nice house, you know what I mean? Uh, 50 million, yeah, with the, with like the stuff downstairs and stuff like that. But for a lot of it, man, I, I don't know. Dude, I need a fucking haircut, man. I'm growing a fucking mullet, chat. God damn it. God damn it, man. Let's see what my hair looks like today. Oh my God, man. Holy shit, man. Way! Wow! Oh, I need a haircut bad. <laughs> anyway chat that's gonna be the end of the stream man um thank you very much for coming in today guys really do appreciate it dude thank you very much god i got curly fucking hair chat do you reckon keep it long but get it trimmed what do you reckon what would you do if you had my hair or would you go short would you just buzz it all off would you buzz it or would you keep it long Trim, do you reckon? Hmm. Trim, do you reckon? I got so much hair. The the crazy thing about my hair, chat, is I feel like it grows in every direction. You know, like, it, it, it's hard to explain, but look at my hair, man. It grows like wildfire. Oh, man. Anyway, thank you very much. Thank you for all the follows, bits, donos. If you could follow me on Instagram and watch my stories and like my photos and yeah, support me in that way. I'd appreciate it. If you could follow me on Twitter, YouTube, all at creator, TikTok, all at creator, I'd appreciate it. I'm just going to go sign off chat. I have missed three phone calls that I need to make. I haven't eaten all day. I'm going to go get a meal. Um, and then, yeah, dude, uh, this weekend I won't be streaming, but I might stream tomorrow and I'll, I'll let you guys know. You feel me? Um, stay cray, guys. Thanks for giving me company at the end of the, today's uh, variety stream. And uh, till next time, man. Catch you soon, yeah? Look after yourself, bro. Catch you later, everyone. Much love. Stay cray. Stay cray, guys. Look after yourself. Yup, 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 yup. Oh, I'll see you on Saturday, Smashing. I'll be there Saturday. I'll catch you guys. Bye now.